Hello, everyone. We are floating from the room. I do believe we read everything last time, but we not. We did. That's weird. We read everything last time. Anywho, it's time to mix drinks and save lives. Good evening. Oh, right. I should real quick and plays the hall so we don't have to. I mean, honestly, yeah, it kind of is. And I'm trying to like keep track of my leaning, but occasionally it just bugs out for my webcam, so it's probably just... Anyway, good evening. Oh, hi there. Hi, Gil. Expecting the bar to be different before opening hours, but I guess it's just the same tired thing. Yeah. Alma? Ah, Leonidas. Gil, yeah. Marcello. I stumbled across her on my way in and asked her if she wanted to tag along. Hope you don't mind. Everyone, this is a good one. <laughs> also, it is Tuesday. Yes, it is Tuesday, even though I don't really feel much like having to. There's Boz again. She didn't put the helmet on. He went out for a bit. I don't know what for, but she'll be back. All right. I'll uh, make yourself comfortable while I prepare. Right. Thanks. Okay. Let's change it up. So, this one. No. Okay, no, never mind. That was good at first, but now. Let's try that. This one of the good ones, I think. <laughs> Let's get really into the lewd 80s theme. Oh, hi, Zen. <laughs> Let's get really into it. Uh Okay. Kind of mix drinks and change lives. Not save lives, change lives. Make some drinks. What was that? Oh, it's just something they made me say back in the instruction. Kind of suck. Huh. I went to a school and that made us stand up with our hands on our backs when someone came in. I have it didn't rub off until high school or so. Um, I think aldehyde is like the burning sensation you get from it, so... Yeah, I kind of like that. Oh yeah, look at this. A uh, glass with a signature. Legit. I'll assume it's either an autograph or an impromptu medicine recipe. That Kira Mickey girl came here yesterday before a concert, actually. Oh yeah, now I see her name here. I don't seem very surprised. I like B-Link more, but actually. The stoic-looking duo, right? Yep, those. Seems you had a better day than mine yesterday. I had to break up with Damien. I see. Want a drink? You don't seem very surprised. Alma, we've known each other for what, a few months now? I'd be interested if those relationships of yours went further than a week or two. <laughs> you say you broke up, but there's actually not enough time to foster something to break. It's more like that guy wasn't what I wanted, so I stopped flirting. You can pretend to be a bit more interested, you know? My mom says, if I don't buy it, it's no, because I know the product. Speaking of buying, do you want a frame? A frame? Yeah, for all those pics you have of your boss. The one filling your phone's memory. Uh-uh, um, you seem sneakily taken at that. Is that true? What do you care? <laughs> How the hell did you find that out? So it is true! Shut up! I'm a hacker, remember? You shouldn't piss off a hacker. <laughs> I really like this one of her sleeping in her office. I think I'll copy it. You! Hey, can you make me a bad touch before we keep arguing? <laughs> sure. Who wants a bad touch? Yeah. 
a lot of the drinks there are kind of interesting. All on the rocks and nicks. One green bad touch, which is a weird combo. Who gives these drinks their silly names? Usually the one who registers it. Some people have quite the silly sense of humor. Yeah. It's that girl who keeps laughing over this particular drink's name? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, who's Damien again? The one with the nice car. Do you ha have any idea how little that narrows it down? Here he is also the manager at the bank, but that car was cut out of my eye. What was wrong with him? Turns out he was a LARPer. And that's bad? LARP? Live action role playing. It sounds more like the nickname of some very heavy handed writer or military organization. Yes, all fear the LARP. What did he roleplay as? Have you heard of the Woodstock Fairs? Those events where people will barely dress stink, roll in the mud, and fuck in the open? Those are hippies, yeah. He frequents those things, but something I'd rather not deal with at all. I'm like he dodged a bullet there, Alma. If I stayed with him, I'd eventually have to. I mean, I need to support my partner in what he does, but if it's something like that... See, that's the problem right there. You say breaking up like you had something formal, but most of the time you're still getting to know him. You can even about it. Have you ended your longest lasting relationship with things like those? Okay, sorry for not using the right word or whatever, but I'm still sorely disappointed. And at least I'm trying to get some action. When was the last time you spent the night with someone else? Burn. Last night. I'm sorry, we didn't know that. There's no problem with bankers, but LARPers are hard to hear. <laughs> Your cat doesn't count. A year ago, it was messy. See? I have no idea how you deal with that. If I were you, I'd have pushed Fuckboy over there into the closet ages ago. <laughs> Fuckboy? People have different needs and priorities. Yes, but don't you have some. Don't you miss having the warmth of someone else at your side? Using them as a pillow, mixing with your feet berries, putting your head on their chest, listening to the breeze over at your head. Okay, look, I'm the one who pets people. Dozing off, knowing they're there, watching. I think you'll- that's all I do! <laughs> yeah. Anything that can make you just shut up and drink? I'll have you know that my Uncle jo Uncle Juan taught me ventriloquism when I was 12. Drinking won't stop me from talking, or making faces puns for Aunt Rosa. So, got something weird, would you? Oh, ventriloquism. You're a weird drink. Something different, experimental, and common. Let's see. We're not doing promo drinks, but we could do the bottled. <laughs> promo drinks. Let's do that. Let's try it. What does this game look so familiar? It's Valhalla. It's basically a bartending simulator. Zen Star. Yeah, this fits the bell. It's a promotional drink to uh, commemorate a movie. Why does my head always go up? Why does that? I'm gonna fix that real quick. Oh. On a moment. Oop. Okay, that should be good. I think. Hold on. I'm just calibrating my stuff, so... Also, hi, Misty and Boxy. I 
think that ought to do it. Okay. Reappear. <laughs> Reappear. Oh, that didn't do it. What the heck is wrong with my VTP? Hey, hi, Mist Box. <laughs> Mist Box. That's the shipping name we go with. Just hope it doesn't do anything weird. Like it is now. Dang it. Okay, whatever. Re even they left as a chance to sell drinks that would be unmarketable otherwise. Oh. You know, your orders are weird today. Right. Yeah, usually the first thing you ask for is a brand teeny and then something like the cobalt with velvet or something similar. Well, I sometimes feel like I need to have something different. Something tells me part of the reason you left this was dang was because he was too deep into routine. Maybe. Still leaning up. Hey, speaking of routine, as a hacker, what's your opinion on the whole Alice Rabbit thing? There's the silence of someone who's just heard something stupid. Stupid enough to get a warrant in that speech they prepared for just for occasions like this. As always, very perceptive of you. You know, decades ago, there was a group of people that hacked simple sites with an agenda. I can't remember what they used to call themselves. I just remember that it was just petty vandalism. Anyway, everyone that participated started using the same name. They wanted to create this anonymous anarchist in an identity. Next thing, please. <laughs> the whole Alice Rabbit thing is the logical conclusion of that. It's what happens when that idea reaches its breaking point and it goes mainstream. There's no longer a group, but an individual. An untouchable entity watching from the shadows, monitoring and judging everything anyone does. I believe it is an anonymous reference, yeah. Observing, tolerating, no one but itself. A lot of bullshit for what's essentially a pet the press made up. <laughs> ah yes, the bullshit pet. Rabbit. The antithesis of the usual boogeyman, if you must. So, you don't think such a person exists? Don't know, don't care. And we have seen the actions of such an entity. This might be a, anything an individual, a group, AI. Not taking into account all the copycats and pranksters using the name. Mm hmm. The Alice Rabbit is a thing that exists, but it's really muddied overall. There's something else that worries me, though. That kind of story always catches the attentions of kids and such. Yep. They start trying to hack into stuff without knowing the risks or consequences. I just suddenly a group of tweens broke into this bar and started asking for drinks. Mm -hmm. That's how it feels for me, as thanks to that damned Alice Rabbit thing. I see. But enough of that, there's a more pressing matter at hand. Riz? Yeah, you've been delaying my invitations for hanging out some time for so long. Oh. That. You hate me that much, Jill. Does my presence make you feel uncomfortable? No, I... At this rate, I might just crash by your apartment. That way you can't just say no. Maybe I'll also crash for the night. I like her. We could have a sleepover, braid her hair, tell stories all night, shower together. You know, we need some human warmth in that place. I like her. <laughs> they would fill the entire bathroom. And you react too nonchalantly. It's no fun. React a little bit. Let me tease you first. I refuse. <laughs> In all seriousness, though, any particular reason you keep turning down my invitations? I really like this character. It's not a date. I just want to have a conversation with you outside these four walls. I'm not a morning person. I registered for a night shift precisely to avoid waking up early. The earliest I've asked you out is 10 a.m., you know. That's early morning by my standards. <laughs> I mean, it's not that I don't want to hang out, I just don't want to wake up early. You are hopeless. That's one thing I don't like, though. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna need another drink here. Like, say, a big grand teeny. 
I only that's the all mine now. Big green team, easy. Okay, yeah, we can. I think that's right. Wait, no, um, six, so I did ten. All aged and mixed. One big brand team. You know, brand team is such a weird. It is. It was originally supposed to replicate the martini. Martinis are weird. Problem is, BTC got a hold of a brand of vermouth that was named after a certain automobile company. So, on a weird whim, they changed the name. Maybe Jill's just a loner. I can respect that, and I wish others do. Really early for me, too. Yeah, 10 o'clock's just too. See, you know, I was wondering. Yeah? Don't you worry about what the people you do work for might be doing with the information you provide? Not really. You don't? Do you worry about what happens when people leave this place drunk? Not really. Most of the time. Well, neither do I. I should you. Do you get people drunk? Some say my beauty is intoxicating, but that's besides the point. I get my payment, do my job, and forget about the whole thing. You make your job sound so easy. Once you understand that precautions to take, it's no problem, and I've always found my job fun. However, most of my contracts are consultancy-based gigs. It's not like every day is a thrill. Do you meet with your client, or...? I don't. It's always fun. It's always from behind as many filters as I can make. Remember I once did a job where I had a couple kids laying letters. For security reasons, right? Actually, because it, like, that way I lose a lot less time. I don't have to deal with clients getting on me or pestering me after the job's done. I also don't have to lose that I'm moving my work because big boobs equal small brain or some shit like that. I mean, protecting my identity is one of the reasons. For the few times I've shown myself, <sighs> they weren't even risky or dangerous jobs, just a run the mill security check. I don't know. Maybe I need to show up as a disheveled nerd or something, give them what they expect to see. Or I just don't show up and save myself the trouble. Why all the questions? Just things I've been curious about and always forget to ask. Yeah, but I'm not gonna say it like that. I'm reading dialogue, I'm not like saying it. So many Alice Rabbit headlines have me even wonder about the hack business too. Oh, I'll remember to ask you things next time then. Well, I'll take my leave now. See ya! Take care. Hello, sugar. Ow! Oh, Mr. Donovan. Like my pop used to say, never touch the asshole wound with metallic arms. I think it's more like plastic and carbon fiber. They're hard as fuck, and that's all my admin felt. See, he got a gut punch. The title's on par today. Do you normally greet people that way? A man that can't contain myself as if he sees something like kid. Oh, but don't worry. You're safe. You're flatter than the side of my summer house. Mm. A bit of advice. Don't provoke people who are serving you drinks or food. Don't be offended, kid. You have your audience. I'm just not part of it. Today, I'm making this quick gotta attend to business in a while. Having said that, I'll just have the usual. He usually says. Three days and he's over to He'll drink. Yep, one big beer. Not iced. Two, four, two, two. And it's almost one big beer. Sure, this will work. What brings you today, Mr. Donovan? That girl I interviewed yesterday is coming again in a couple of weeks. So I was working to clinch an exclusive interview. Did you succeed? Who the hell do you think you're talking to? I'm Donovan D. Dawson. I always get what I want. No, you don't. Here, I had to blackmail the editors of other outlets, but the end result is what matters. I see. Wait, blackmail? Do surprise at the kind of stuff you found on when you get the right people wrong. So you someday. Hmm. Hey, that signature on that glass over there. Ah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yep. She was here. Came yesterday before the concert. Yeah. Hey, you think Juicy come out of her visit? No. Gossip worthy? No. Tabloid worthy? No. Come on. There has to be something. Well, her love for what she does is so honest and pure that anyone who tries to ruin it should be ashamed. Oh, don't give me that shit. Throw me a bone here. Anything. I've got nothing. Everyone has a price. How much for you to spill the beans? 
I'm serious here. She had nothing that could be used against her. Or that you didn't already know. I'm... Do you think women have nipples? That's actually the question. Eh, excuse me. I mean, I've seen a couple of them. Also, if we have them, but you could have modded, you know. Yesterday, while interviewing the senior loan tech, I was kept on wondering if they had nipples. <laughs> I mean, it'd be fine without them, but the curiosity is killing me. Just wait for Dorothy to come by and ask. We're curious about the engineers that designed them. Can you picture a room full of people discussing whether or not they look good? <laughs> What's your guys and the husband and you're working at the latest model? Oh, just good enough. oh my gosh, this guy. Bust the son of a bitch. Um, any interview preview tomorrow's news? Expect me to share my information when you couldn't share your scoop on the singer? How can one share when there's nothing honestly to share? Uh huh. I'm gonna be a good assistant today and let this one pass. Have you heard of a group called the Harbringers? Or Harbinger. Is that spelled right? Can I go back and look? I don't think it'll spell right. I don't really know. But some kind of groups want to overthrow the White Knights. I read their manifesto in the bathroom once. Interesting place and even better makeshift toilet paper. <laughs> uh, talk about how oh, the organization is corrupt full of mob bosses or something like that. Mm, that's just ministry, but they're less corrupt. <laughs> I think I've heard about that somewhere. One of them. I sent a message to some outlets claiming to have proof of their claims. They're gonna release it to the public tomorrow. Oh, that'd be interesting to see. I think. I know, right? Alright, kid, give me a bleeding Jane so I can call it a day. Okay. That's a bleeding Jane? Yes. Okay. Do I give them a bigger one? I'll just do the usual also. All blended. Say the name of this drink three times in front of the mirror and you'll look like a fool. Here. Simple enough for you, I see. Mm. But I've heard this is Dana Zane's bar. Is that true? I mean, yeah. Yeah? Never thought I'd hear that about the undefeated as a quest again. How many nicknames and titles does she have? Or so after that incident with the bears, where is she? The bears? <laughs> She's not running some air bears. Six years ago, Cash shot Dana Zane into an underground ring for money. There's ten enraged grizzly bears. She beat them all without killing them. <laughs> I heard she set them free afterwards, too. Is this just Teddy Roosevelt as an anime girl? <laughs> and you were there. I was drunk and bored, what can I say? You know she'd lost her arm there. Can't remember, too drunk. Maybe she had prosthetic then, too. Or did someone there suggest that she lost it after throwing a baseball out of some stadium? <laughs> my gosh. <laughs> it hurt so hard her arm fell off. But that sounded even more like an unsubstantiated rumor. <laughs> or like something she made up. I feel like if all the stories she had were to be pulled together, she would just say yes to all of them. <laughs> well, I gotta go. Next time, see, see Dana. Thank her for winning me my second yacht. I know betting on her was the right choice. We see him again. Hey, yeah. Oh my gosh. Uh. Okay. He said she's flat, but those hips. Hips. It is now safe to keep playing. <laughs> we'll just go with what we had. Ah, boss, you're back. Yeah, sorry about not being here earlier. What were you doing? Not gonna happen. I had a brief meeting with my BTC regional manager. Oh, everything alright? As alright as it can be, considering that we're closing eventually. When will that happen? I don't know. Ryan said that we'll be safe for a few months while the paperwork is filed and everything's being put in order. Oh. I was also talking to him about you. It wasn't safe before. <laughs> I guess it's just the play on the whole uh, old Windows 98, 95 computer saying it's all right to shut down now. About me? Yeah, I was telling him to do whatever it takes to ensure you don't spend too much time without a job. Oh, excuse me. Is it possible to resign you ASAP after closing? If it helps, Brian might be the angriest of us all. They won't want to close the bar in the whole area that hasn't given me any headaches, he said. Heh. <laughs> what about Gil? He's the one that worries me the most, actually. 
He's kind of working using the credentials of another guy that was working here before. Okay. The thing just goes deeper and deeper. There's some more NSFW stuff. I mean, there's a lot of it. Oh. The one who brought a levitation potion into the room off the building. I guess the levitation potion story. He used some weird euphemisms, boss. Anyway, I found it hard to believe that Gil will find a job after all this. Just who is Gil? I have no idea of who he is, but I'm still putting pieces together. Anyway, back to work. Imminent closure is no excuse to slack off. Yes, sir. You guys do know I can hear you, right? Do we care, Gil? This place looks familiar. Hello, cat. Is this the Valhalla bar? Yes, indeed. Welcome to Valhalla. What is side planning now? Excuse me? I'm wondering whose name has changed after many women person. Can you get me that? Here. I think that's the piano one. Yep, piano woman. All age and mixed. One piano woman. Very nice. Thanks a lot. So you know Sai, miss. I'm Stella Hoshi. My pleasure. Yeah, I know her. She's been here before, yeah? Yep. In fact, I'm glad you know her because she left this year last time. Oh, she left that helmet again. Not the first time, huh? Her helmets have been picked up by all sorts of people in the last three months. Ballets, nurses, morticians, fire jugglers. I've been lucky enough to always leave it with a place to return it, at least. Whoa, quite a few people. Say is as much of a sociable girl as she is a total klutz, which is a bad position for the police, basically. Say? <laughs> oh, oh, say. Okay. At least when she's not being serious. She's very competent when she puts her mind to it. I see. So, did she recommend you this place? Or, we're meeting here today. I can see why she chose this place. It's the kind of place she likes. The place has lost all meaning, and the word is now useless. Hmm. Is that Kira Mickey's autograph on that glass? Seems like the glass is a conversation starter. Nice. Yeah, it is. How did you get it? She stopped here yesterday, just before the concert. Really? I mean, dead? Ears. Yeah, nice girl. Can I see it? Sure. Yep, the Starlux signature is hers. Is your name Shilla? Yes. Ain't this nice? Here you go. Do you like her, Miss Stella? Just call me Stella. I do. Whenever you hear her songs, she's filled with so much energy and happiness. Too bad I couldn't purchase tickets for this one. I mean, they were sold out in minutes. Looks like I could secure a couple for the next time she comes around. Oh, excuse me for a second. Hello, where the hell were you? Car crash! Oh, you're helping. Will take long? Alright. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. I take it that was say. Yeah. Can you wait for her? I will. In the meantime, I feel like I have another drink. One that was prepared in memory of its co first friend, alright? And, Algy, the reason why I was saying Sly at first because that's how you pronounce it in another language. It's Piano Man. I forget which one it was, um... honor of his dear friend was Why do people attend concerts even without a play? They're crowded, loud, and expensive, to say nothing about the castle. I only went to three of them, and every time I at least had fun because I was helping someone, but even then, just eh. What one was that? I think it's, yeah, it's basically what Drax said. Just go to conventions and it'll be similar in that logic.
Okay, I swear I remember this one. I'm just looking it up. Fun. Wait, was this seriously just... Oh, wait, right, that was told the other day. I think this one... Yes, exactly. Thank you. I ask you something that might be personal? Ooh, hold on a moment. Sorry, chest feels weird for a moment. Pawns at least have loot. Yeah, that's kind of a thing. I mean, technically any convention has loot if you beat up enough people. <laughs> That's not, or at least I don't think so. Oh? You get to serve many cat boomers, so it's something I've been curious about. Go through the procedure because of a disease or because of the fad. Before I was born, I was diagnosed with nanomachine rejection. But it had to be done, otherwise I would have died shortly after birth. I'm a bit on the weak side because of it, though. I'm sorry I overstepped. I don't mind. I thought it was nice to dispel the idea that my parents were just into the fad. You seem to know your drinks, Jill. Well, I guess I've read a bit with a recipe book. You like alcohol? Yeah, but not in the usual way. I don't drink that much outside of a can of beer. Jill is the kind of person that likes the cheap stuff. But their colors, their stories, the way you need to keep them stored, their design. Sounds a bit silly when I say it out loud. Not at all. Do you collect them or anything like that? Actually, yeah. I started with my grandpa's collection. I've been slowly growing it. It's been hard because of my debts, but I manage little by little. You like alcohol, Stella? I'm here, right? But I'm normally more of a social drinker. Unless it's with somebody, I don't tend to drink much. Aunt's gonna have counselors too. Yeah. Normally, welcome. You took them at your sweet time. It would have looked so much better if they were positioned on the other side of each other. Yeah, sorry, sorry. I got caught in rush hour traffic too, and I figured it might be faster. Luckily there was a building with emergency stairs nearby, and I climbed down. Climbed down? You can air cap. Oh. I would suggest using ground transportation, but I'm happy to see you, but safety first. Safety? No, no, flying cars are just way cooler. I still don't understand how they don't give you motion sickness. If I find out how I avoid it, you'll be the first to know. Anyway, I'll have whatever she orders next. I like drink that was... You're at it again? You and your cryptic orders always leaving us with weird stuff. Hey, I expect only the best from whoever serves me. You need to be able to answer these kinds of orders. Still, I'm sure you were earning poor Jill out here with that kind of stuff. She's done quite well so far, actually. Really? Thank you. Whatever, please order something normal, would you? I'll be two fringe weavers then. Will you have two drinks at once? No, we're sharing. Like, half a glass for each other? Isn't that better if it's one for each? Don't worry, you'll see. New fringe weavers, easy enough. And she is getting her drunk. All aged and fixed. Then. Oh, hi, Halkuma, how are you? I'm doing dandy myself. Two fringe weavers. So. This one's for you, and this one's for me. You said you wanted whatever I asked for, right? You're from yesterday. Nice to see you again. Oh, that's that way. You could have said so earlier. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, here. Hey, so this is where I left my helmet. Thanks. You really need to be more careful with your things. Yeah, but I have spares. Those spares should be saved for when the one you're using breaks or malfunctions, not when you lose it. Those helmets cost money, you know. Yeah, sorry. Did I say that boss got her head stuck because of the impact? Speaking of money, you still going to that meeting at the bank tomorrow? Yep, you worried? Uh, Valhalla. It's basically a bartending visual novel-esque game. It's really interesting. It's one I like to do. And it's Christmas-themed a little bit because it takes place in December. I'll refrain from that. I'd be lying if I said it wasn't... Don't be you. It'll be fine. Rumors are just rumors. 
customers. They said something might happen to the bank tomorrow, but with all the attention in the air lately, it's hard to know if it's true. As for the fear mongering wasn't enough, the people have also started spreading baseless rumors. And we got me back into starting, so I'm gonna have a good stream. Oh, have fun! I hope you enjoy your thing, and tell me what you do. I wanna play Elden Ring? Oh, uh, yeah, same. You are talking about that yesterday, actually, Boxy. A Christmas story, just like Rambo. Okay, it kind of is like Rambo. I mean, it kind of is like Die Hard, but we're more like a bartender. <laughs> Instead of, you know, the dude. Just yesterday, I had to stop a group of rampaging youngsters that heard the city would be leveled by bombs. Everyone's on edge. Iron Man 3 is also a Christmas movie? Yep. Yeah. I know you're worried, but I have to go there. It's from the higher-ups. Why does my eyes look always... Tell me something. If somebody came after me, do you think they'd stand a chance? You're quite strong, but... I'll take something to protect myself. Not for anything. Would that make you feel better? Maybe. I'll tell you what. After I come back, we'll get some ice cream. And that way you can vent all your frustrations. Yes, ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream is good. I want some cookies and cream ice cream right now. See, my vehicle is here to cut oh, Wake me up. You come inside? No, I'll stay here a bit longer. Okay then, take care. Bye. She's such a warrior. I mean, she cares about you. I've never doubted. Say, why does my helmet smell like bacon? Eh, bacon. Nothing in mind, I'm just curious. Well, you know how some things absorb the smell of what's nearby? Must have grabbed it from one of the ingredients. <laughs> you have the scent of bacon. Uh, honey vanilla ice cream. I see. You believe all that stuff about the tensions growing in that anarchist group trying to disband the White Knights? To tell you the truth, I am a bit worried. You know what bugs me? I don't know if she's wearing a headband or not, because it looks like she is. Even in my division, there's some shady business going on, but I don't want to investigate too deeply. What kind of business? From what I understand, things like working with human traffickers or drug dealers, letting them act as they wish. Bacon is a bartender ingredient. I think it's eyebrows. You think these... Oh, yeah, I see it. It looks like uh, eyebrows now, but there's also the darkened part of it, so it looks like it's just part of your head. Okay. Some say they, the ones that do get apprehended are the ones that have failed to some way. Phil always said the White Knights are more, just glorified mall security. <laughs> just says that if it's been proven beyond doubt that some shady business is going on, that Vatsi Court Earp's main branch would separate themselves from the whole White Knight tradition. Mm. Something about the associates fear of the bad PR resulting in them moving to the BTC. Sounds plausible. It kind of worries me, though, because I really like my job. Oh, that's how it is. Um, hold on a moment. I just realized what I was doing wrong. Um. Because my VTube Studio thing is now freaking out because I moved my neck. That's what I was doing wrong. So my stretching is doing a thing. move myself. Uh, that should be good. Let's see where I am. Yeah, it's good. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Yeah, it kind of worries me, though, because I really like my job. I guess similar fear exists among the upper ranks. Slightly, they seem... rusty. Too much politics, huh? Where's my brain? I just want to rescue people and help them. See, say he's a good character. I'm not going to do my job without worries about politics of any kind. What are you doing at the bank tomorrow? My colonel needed to relay some information to the manager and I was pissed me. Oh, he said you're never such a simpleton in that you never give the wrong message. Mm. Oh, you're such a simpleton that you never give the wrong message, but it's his intentions that count. Oh. Finally, the Dorothy has come to Valhalla. Please refrain from doing those sitcom-like entrances, you're disturbing other clients. Mm. 
Oh, come on. You know the audience would have gone wild with that one. Like, reserve that button. Uh. And besides, you make it sound like you have a full house. Ahem. <clears throat> it's uncommon to see you here two days in a row. I want to grab something before starting my shift. Grab something before they start grabbing me, you could say. Hey, you having a drink? Can I buy you one? Why, yes! Thank you! Honey, you should follow your example and offer me drinks more often. We'll see. What are you having? I'll have what she's having. Then I've got the perfect thing. Let's have a blue fairy. One for both, one for each. All right, two blue fairies are due. All right, let's put in Cyrano and Star. Now, I do believe the first one goes to say, so we're just going to make this one without alcohol, but we're going to do the next one with alcohol. So one, two, three, four, and then go a bit ham. <laughs> yeah, sure. Two fairies. And yeah, this is pretty good. See? And it's blue like your hair. It is. So what's your name, sweetie? Call me Say. All right, Say, I'm Dorothy. Hey, Say. Yes. Hey, Say. Yes, yes. Say, say. Say, say, say. Say, why did you buy me a drink? I just want, I thought you were cute as a button, and I wanted to invite you to join me. Ah, I just smacked my hand against, I'm not hand, my foot against my desk. Ow! Ow! I just put my foot against the desk. Ow! 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 I just hit my foot against the desk. That hurt. Okay. Ow. Ow! 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 I'm okay, just ow. Don't kiss my foot. <laughs> don't kiss my foot. You don't know where feet have been. Don't kiss my foot. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'll be okay. Just a little bonk. Let me check on it real quick. Hold on. Okay, I'm good. Hold on, let me move back to place. Ow. Okay, ow. Ow! That hurt. That hurt a lot. Ow. I was trying to move my chair and it just smacked really hard. Ugh. Ow. Okay. I just check where the heck I am. Okay, I'm right here. Okay. Getting real sick from the Calibre. Move a bit and move a bit closer. Not smack my foot this time. Okay. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, let's not do that again. The feet's been on the floor where all the schmutz has been. Yep. Wow, you've been the first person to offer me a drink without having an ulterior motive. And that includes Fuckboy over there. So first his name's John, now his name is Fuckboy. Just all the boys. What do you mean? Trust me, when you work in my kind of field, you learn to read cues from everything. And this girl is simple to a fault. Also, you're the what you see is what you get type. The look in your eyes is one that that simply sees no point in lying. Coupled with the fact that you're here and what looks like your work attire tells me that you're so married to your job that sex is too far down for your priority list to notice its existence. So if you invite me to a drink because you found me cute, that's the extent of it. I believe you. Thank you. You say she's the first one, but what's about the deal giving you a ticket the other day? Oh yeah, the little one with the dogs. No, he doesn't count. He looked like a human. Yeah. Ouch. You seem very perceptive, Dorothy, but I'm not too far from behind. How so? I can tell your body is heavily modded with things you shouldn't even have. Those eyes. 
Your tongue is a BEB-069 with DNA scanning capabilities. Your skin is coated with an anti-radiation finish. Your joints are of the premium, extra-flexible variety. And the most important thing, your hands. What about them? I don't know how you mod your body as, uh, mod your body as under your clothes. The tongue, joints, and skin are really interesting. Your hands are the MIRD-113 of Realty Industries. Model designed to shoot class 5 bullets from its fingertips. So... Laws G of Article 17 and the Augmentation and Modifications Law on the topic of ballistics augmentations. Any humanoid or sapient creature under civilian designation that has upgraded any of its person, hold firearms of class 3 greater or higher will be either commissioned for disarmament or sent to danger zones. What are you gonna do? Nothing. Eh? I'm not in law enforcement. I just do rescue. And even if I was, I'm not on duty right now. Uh, oh. I want to know, though, why go through with that upgrade? A girl's gotta take care of herself, you know. I want to be able to deal with those things if they get ugly. And this is the most discreet mod I had. Or at least I thought so. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay then. Can I give you some advice? Yes? The reason I could tell it's not your default hand model is your fingertips. The tips are a little bigger to make the cannon fit. You can set a small mod that changes them to disposable tips. So basically just pea shooters. Assuming they're being used for self-defense, not regular use, of course. I see. Well, I've gotta go. Oh yeah, another thing? If you aim for the arms and legs, once, it's self-defense. Not anything more is assault. Y yeah. Bye, Thorothy. Bye, Joe. Bye-bye. Please come again. <laughs> I thought she was gonna take me away! <laughs> they would've put me in mine in a vacuum cleaner for three years! <laughs> See if I behave well. That's what happens when you underestimate people. Although I'm tempted to ask... about what? DNA reading tongue? Very prehensile, intuitive, also vibrates. She is Tuesday in a nutshell. Extra flexible joints. Do you really need to ask? Anti-radiation coating. Hey, my skin's my first tool of the trade. I need to take care of it as much as possible. And it makes me feel so soft no matter how much it's been battered. Well, right then. So you fancy yourself a divine or reading people in law? Not really. I'm just good at reading people. need to adjust things. I really hate- I'm sorry me using this as a time to adjust, but even- Testing. Okay. I really need something that can capture more of my distinct emotions. Wait, was that literally the problem? Apparently... Okay, I was given some interesting instructions. Okay, we're good. I guess it's a byproduct of dealing with so many people on a daily basis. It's a bit surreal to hear that from a Lilum. What can you say about me, then? Let's see... Hmm... You're very, very sexually frustrated. It's not the act itself, but rather that your partners can't seem to satisfy you on a deeper level. There's an even deeper frustration, something that's happened but blocking you. Maybe there's someone who you know won't return your feelings. Maybe you were hurt in the past, boss. Thus your demeanor is that of someone who feels like life is playing a trick on her. Like a dog whose owner never really throws the ball. Oh boy, did I actually hit the nail on the head? I was making this stuff on, on the fly. All that was just rubbish, I say, because it's right 80% of the time. Generic bullshit, if you will. You'd be, you'd, frustra you'd be surprised at the amount of sexual frustration people hold. I can't read you, honey. You're too good at putting on a professional face. But this definitely gives me more insight into you. Lucky, lucky. Aren't you late or something? I am, but if you let me satisfy your frustrations, I can stall for some more time. So, fine, fine. Bye, honey. Artificial intelligence has come rather far, huh? One wonders how uh, artificial it remains. Shut up, fuck boy. <laughs> Everything done? Yeah. Hey boss, this might seem random, but do you remember the first time I came to the bar? When you came to submit your contract? Yeah, why? <gasps> well, for some reason I've been hung up on it since this morning, and I just haven't been realizing why. The massage that walked me back then was Gil trying to pull your hand out of a jar. Pickles. They're too good. <laughs> yeah, I can't remember what exactly, but something fell inside and I was trying to retrieve it. It was the pickles. 
I just kind of put my hand in and it got stuck. It was a friend's jar too, so I can just break it. A friend's jar. Hey Gil, how did you get my hand out of that jar? A straw and some butter. Is she just like a walking noodle incident? Oh yeah, clever solution. Yeah, and that brings me to the random thought. The incident, the helmet yesterday, that main time you got your foot stuck in something and for stomping it. Boss, why do you get in so many different things? Uh, now that you mention it, I remember this one time I she tried to eat a big sandwich and her jaw got stuck. <laughs> and there was the incident with the TV. I'll admit my fault with the others, but the TV incident was not my fault. The assembly instructions for that should have been labeled their Z and Z S better. You saw what happened when I switched the S2 piece with the 5Z one? Yeah, don't label your products like that. Still, Jill's into something here. <laughs> yes, she is. Now go clean the dishes and you can leave for today. I should avoid that, yeah, I want to believe. Everything will turn out right in the end, don't worry. Aww. Happy not birthday. Great. Your subscription got renewed, so she'll have no problem focusing at work today. You really like that website, huh? I have my needs. Okay, so that's not upgraded. Mickey Comfort 4. No, that was already done. That was Okay, so this is a new one. It's officially happening! What do you think will happen? Probably nothing. Last time it was the leaks. I think Alice jumped the shark with that one because it seems hard to top. Being more leaks seems unlikely. I don't think the government would let that happen twice. But this is Alice we're talking about. There's nothing they can't do. What if that spooky message wasn't really Alice, but just an epic prank? Who would hack a site like that just for a prank? Not me. You're right. I might be something else. We'll have to wait and see. What was the date again? December 17th. Right, if only we knew more about the target now. Sick meme, sis. These Alice threads piss me off on fucking e celebs. Hmm. What if it has something to do with the terrorism rumors? The thread is closed. Scared a bit. Shining fingered. Yes. Prime rate up 50 of uh, 5% this month. Prime rate is at 5% this month, officially making the road to Mega Christmas a dangerous one. White Knights, aware of the situation, have promised to maintain security in all sectors, even though recent budget cuts have been decreasing the morale of their personnel. Okay, Jack, I'm going to just say this now. Just because I'm doing Magical Police Girls does not mean I'm taking a huge reference for this. <laughs> An uphill battle. Oh, let me take a sip. Better. Poverty with the lack of opportunities are no longer or their main causes of crime. Criminals come from all walks of life. They will murder and distribute drugs for no other reason than the fact it gives power. The more references, the better. Yeah, and yes, Mega Christmas. <laughs> and then you just hear you just see the Mega Man just coming down from a sleigh pulled by uh, Rush. Criminals come from all values of life and walks of life. They will murder and distribute drugs for no other reason than the fact it gives them the power. It's no longer about feeding their families, it's about domination. Their entire sector is controlled by these dangerous games, and there's no solution in sight. This Mega Christmas will be a very dark one. Alice Rabbit might be Kira. No. Oh, Kira Mickey fan, yeah. Everyone loves Kira Mickey, and Alice Rabbit's no exception. You might be wondering if there's proof for this, but not so wacky theory. And, well, keep reading if you want to know better. Attack patterns. It's an easy one, you just, I'm getting tired of your shit, Miss Smithy. You wouldn't believe the shocking hero Mickey secret by Kimberly Lavelli. Oh, right. Um, it would be worse after we things under control there. They're messing with forces they can't grasp, or it's just a ruse. It's a local page, for fuck's sake. Today we'll take a look at one of the most popular actor acts of our time. How did she get started? What's your favorite movie? What about her romance life? You don't miss this exclusive interview only on the augmented eye. It's a local page. I think we can actually just buy things if we want, but... Does that make Dr. Wily Krampus? <laughs> okay. Let's go to work. Good evening. Hello. 
Dean's meet up just in time. I think that's a car backfiring. Oh, it sounded like a gunshot to me. You can buy stuff. Yeah, it's to keep Jill from being distracted. Have you heard of gunshots? Have you heard gunshots? Haven't we all at some point? Yeah, well, I have. He sounds more like a car's exhaust. I don't know, it's too dry. Yeah, but gunshots give more echo. What if it's a firecracker? Hot boss. Firecrackers. Yeah, a couple of years ago there was an incident where some dude killed a cop. He managed to slip away because his pistol oh, was mixed up with the usual mega Christmas firecrackers. Sounds too hollow for firecrackers. Well, whatever, this is not a morning talk show. I'm not paying you to chit chat about meaningless things. At least not amongst yourselves. Right, we shouldn't lose time over a car's exhaust. Hey! Hey. Um, let's switch those out and do everyday. And switch those out for... We're doing Drive Me Wild because we want to. How do you mixed drinks and change lives? Welcome to Valhalla. Hello, I'm looking for some information. What kind of information? Can you tell me about a girl nicknamed Crimson Rose? Sounds like a tackly online handle. Although tacky online handle is a bit redundant. <laughs> Do you know anything about her? Nope, sorry. I have $80 here that might refresh your memory. I thought you mentioned I remember something. Really? Yeah, no, I'm totally sure that I have no idea who you're, ever you're talking about. Nothing at all. Nothing. Man, you're a sucky bartender, not having any info I need. Well, first of all, why assume I just have to have the info you conveniently need? Does a girl frequent this place? Is there any other proof that I might have the info you so desperately need? Hi there! <laughs> well, I... And second, you're not going to get anywhere by offering me physical money. Oh, crap. Dang, I just get dialogue. <laughs> Moreover, even if I did know something, do you really think $80 is enough? See, that ramen's 50... well, 60 bucks. You can do almost nothing with $80. It's not even enough to have a decent lunch. Why are you scolding me? Why did you call me a sucky bun bartender for not having the info you need? I... Wait, of course. You want all deals to be clean, so you need me to spend money at the bar. That's how it works, right? I spend money, you give me the info. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, then give me a drink, but keep it under $80. $80. Oh. What kind of drink can you get for $80? The gut punch. All aged and mixed. One eighty dollar drink. Okay then, do you know anything about the girl? No. You said maybe, maybe not. Turns out that it's a maybe not. <laughs> Turns out you just kind of spent money without realizing it. Also, he has the same attire as a mysterious hair and ex alter from fate. He has the glasses. He has the jacket. He has the scarf. He has the plaid. If he's wearing a skirt under there, I'm going to be very confused. <laughs> You were the one deluding yourself into thinking he might know something. <laughs> like I said, $80 is nothing. So I need to spend more. I'll give you some intel. Spend all the money you want, but I don't know anything and no amount will change that. Can I at least have to get my money back? Why? The order is right, isn't it? I guess. So why are you looking for that girl, mister? Vondelay. Art Vondelay. Is that a pun? It feels like a pun. I'm a private detective, that's what I do. So I'll assume you're either looking for a missing girl or working for a creepy online stalker. You're assuming the girl I'm looking for is innocent or lost. She's not. It's half of the so-called reapers of the city. You guns are hired that work for whoever's resourceful enough to find them and wealthy enough to pay them. Crimson Rose and Cobalt Lily, they call themselves. They still sound more like teenagers internet nicknames. So who wanted you to track her? I don't know. I got the letter with the instructions and a paycheck. I feel like that's Stella and Say. Since Crimson and Cobalt. What if it's a prank? I had the money, so what do I care if it is? Besides, considering the amount I was able to cash in with that check, it'd be a waste of money. Oh, the music's a bit loud for this. Oh, hold on. There we go. That's better. Let's see. Still, any information or rumors you could give me? They don't have to be related to the girl. 
why do you need them? It's always good to keep up with the local going on. Let's see, hmm. Sorry, I can't think of anything right now. Most of the conversations here and here are rumor worthy. And we really don't want to rat on Dorothy or Kira Mickey. Rumor worthy, maybe, but not much about what current events at least. Nothing beyond that what we see in the news. Damn it, what kind of bar is this if you can't gather the word on the street? What kind of film noir world do you think we live in? Yell might have something if you're so fixated on finding some kind of information. I don't know what you're talking about. Do you know something that might help me, Gil? I don't. I certainly don't, and I'm offended by the suggestion that I do. He knows something. On second thought, maybe it's better if you don't get involved with him. Oh, this has been a major waste of time. And here I thought all the noise BTC bars have been lately would be so useful for something. Noise? What noise? You don't know? I'm asking for a reason. We'll find out soon enough. Don't worry. In any case, I'll have another drink and leave. What can I get you? I'll have a grizzly temple. Simple enough. Alright, let's give him a grizzly temple. One, two, three, and all blended. What kind of detective is this, Juni? Look, it's 2069. They are kind of... Here. Okay, then. This is going to be deducted from $80 we're going, right? No. Fine. Come on, this has to be something. This week has been slow as hell. The only good thing I've heard is about this girl who threw herself off the roof of a nearby mall. And the whole thing about a woman catching her midair makes me think it's totally made up. Aside from rumors that the Harbingers are looking to cause trouble at the bank today, no, not really. Damn it. Wait, who told you that? It appeared on the news, didn't it? Yeah, but the name Harbingers was abused. No Glitch City outlet has reported that themselves. There are rumors about that something or someone is keeping that silent. He's one of the few people that isn't covered in implants or cybernetics, or isn't a robot. I mean, he could have a leg. You don't know. There's avoiding acknowledging the organizations yet for some reason. So you're either one of them or somebody in the know told you about it. Wow, you'd be surprisingly sharp. Yeah, Donovan D. Dawson was here the last three days, actually. Really? You'll notice the last time. I mean, sure, I can't think of anyone that would be useful in anything involving them right now, but guess not. Did he talk about anything interesting? Interviewing the idol that had a show a couple days ago, dealing with messy interns? Part of the course, I guess. I see, I see, that's... Gunshot! It's backfire! Firecrackers! Hey, what do you think that sound just now was? It sounded like something very heavy being dropped. Something heavy? Come on, it's not even close! It was definitely more like an explosion of some kind. No, you can clearly hear the clashing of metal. Something that was both made out of metal and very heavy fell down. That's what made the sound. Whatever it is, it's not normal for it to be repeating so often. I wonder if something's happening. I heard there were some gang spats going on. Maybe they took the conflict over here. Hope not. Which means gunshots! If that's the case, I just hope they don't come too near us. Well, you gotta go. Seems coming here wasn't a waste of time after all. Really? Really, I just had different needs, but there'll be a time when this place might need me. Okay. Goodbye. Let's go again. Gangs, then. Unlikely this is unicorn territory. <laughs> They've always been neutral and impartial third party in other games deals. Who what now? I'll just pretend I have never heard nothing. Thank you. It left me thinking about the whole noise from BTC bars thing. What's up with that? I think I heard something about money laundering through bars. Don't take my word for it though. I see. I guess I'll find out soon enough. Welcome. <laughs> oh, I remember her now! The so, soup. <laughs> I'm streaming Chan, giving you a live video feed of my life and adventures 24 7. Hello, fellow youngsters. <laughs> Bathroom time and naughty moments are only available to pro premium users. This was made in 2016, everyone. So, yeah, this is going very well, far for the course. It's only $99.99 a month. Go premium now, which is basically five bucks in the future. Um, it's Friday night, and you know what that means. It's time for Streamtron's Escapades. Today's Escapade is brought to you by ShiningFinger.moe. You've been a VR adult up to Hermit since 2069, and we just resubscribed to that. <laughs> Nico, 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 I think we can just press W or something. Buy your premium membership and you'll get a code! 
exchange the code for a free trial of your experience model after yours truly. Excuse me. Today I picked the shoddiest, snappiest, smelliest, ugliest bar I could find downtown. And sadly, it actually looks half decent inside. So much for going to a crap old bar that smells like dog hair, friend. We missed that yesterday. Excuse me. But no matter, tonight I'll give you an escapade you'll never forget. Hey you, where's the bartender? You're talking to her. Very funny, where is he really? Right in front of you. Hey you, the pretty boy over there. Where's the bartender? You're looking at him. N no way! No hot shirtless guy playing with fire and serving drinks while flirting with you? No sexy stantly clad girl jiggling around the place? You told me you two dress like fucking waiters so the bartender's here. <laughs> yep. Seems that way. <laughs> I just love the moon going across there. Is that a problem? Of course it's a problem. Friday nights are peak viewing hours. Oh, well, there's an easy solution to that. There is. Yeah, just take your off. You might need to take out your watch to pay off traffic guys. Wait, you're fine with that. Do you even use a problem? Is that a piercing thing on no? Come on, one of us is gonna have to take off their top, and it ain't gonna be me. I already did that once today. Ah, and it's too late to go somewhere else. By the time I find an even nastier bar, they'll be closed. What's your policy on wearing pants? Somebody tried to have me fired for wearing a skirt, so we deal with that on a case-by-case -case basis. That's not a concrete answer. I need to buy another area yes or no answers. My viewers have the attention of fruit flies. <laughs> oh. If they wanted to use their brains, do you think they'd watch something like this? <laughs> she loves really loves this. I need to keep them entertained, and the fact that you still own it from your shirt isn't helping. I forgot the bun. I think it's equals. Yeah, it's P. Yep, if you press P, all these eights appear. Wait, I know. Give me a drink. A big one. The nastiest one you can think of. Um, hello. Service here, please. Oh, it's like my brain just shut down. Sure. Nasty, nasty drink. Manly and promo. Oh, <laughs> these are both nasty, but that's my opinion. So, we have a choice here. And I'm going to make that choice as best as I can. So. We're gonna do this the fun way. Boozy. Here. All right then, cheers. I don't think you should check it down so quickly. It's like it hit me, but it didn't feel it was until a few seconds later. Is it being kicked in the balls? He's like, yep. It's gonna be fun though, right? If you say so. Okay, in the meantime, what can you tell me about this bar? What do you mean? Great stories, fun stuff, interesting facts. You're being seen by an average of 6,000 people here. Make their time worth it. Let's see then. Last week we held a party for the Safer or Toy Company, and it was completely run by dogs. Really? This place was completely overrun by corgis. Wait, wait, wait. Corgis? Did you really serve drinks to corgis? Exedo clad talking corgis, or yeah. Wow, awesome! Wait, you're not shitting me, right? I wish I was shitting you, trust me. What else, what else? Um, let's see. Not only Big Awesome from the Augmented Eye was here for three nights in a row. That perfume chauvinistic bastard? Huh, is that weird again? Just the other day, someone from the all bunch I interviewed me, actually. What did they ask? Oh, the usual bullshit. Who I was, what I did, future plans, inspirations. The one that interviewed me was this small, meek girl with glasses. Oh, it was her, so that's why she was fainted. <laughs> she seemed a bit better, though. I wonder why. What do you know about that? Okay. Wait, can I see that glass over there? Hmm, sure. <coughs> Oh, that went down the wrong pipe. Hold on. <coughs> Ow! <coughs> Hold on. Ow! Went down the wrong pipe. I was trying to hydrate. That's what helped. That helped stop me. A signature. Is this Kira Mickey's autograph? Yeah, she came here just before our last concert. Get out, really? This is some kind of secret hidden bar of the stars or something? Not really, we're just in the right place at the right time. What kind of person is she when she's not on stage? I tried to get a meeting with her, but she actually seemed willing because she's so always busy. Very nice girl, actually. 
She seemed to be completely invested in her work. She also loves what she does in the shows. You think she's a, be some sort of diva, but as far as I'm concerned, she's one of the nicest people I've met. I knew it! I knew she was nice! <laughs> her passion shows in her concerts, you know? She's spontaneous. Oh, what was it? I just swamp everyone with that in her concert. Uh, her performances are never the same. Every time she sings Shine Spark, I feel like my soul is warming up like a high performance computer. And it sounds like Metroid. <laughs> Shine Spark. I find myself singing it in the shower all the time. It gets wanna die. <laughs> what? <laughs> and those who pay premium can hear me sing every day at $99.99 a month. Go premium now. That aside, I was about to call bullshit on what you said. I guess every because you do have some sort of proof for everything. Can I keep this class? No. Pretty please? No. Party pooper. At least this bar might be more interesting than I initially thought. There's one that made it look perfect as if pretty boy over here was a part of the past KGB. Who told? Y yeah, that'd be crazy, huh? Are you gonna order anything else? What? Oh yeah, yeah, the whole getting wasted thing. I heard of a drink called a bad touch. I mean, a big one of those, please. A big bad touch. <laughs> Coming right up. Yep. <laughs> one big bad Dutch. Oh crap, I on. I love that name so much. I'm probably going to put some stuff in Carolyn's game like that. Yeah. I was expecting something dirtier. You have olive fry and I could pour it in a bit if you want that. No, not that. Such a dirty name, it feels like the drink would come in a phallic glass or be this thick white liquid. That would have skyrocketed the watches at least threefold. <laughs> Don't you have anything like that? Nope. <sighs> I'll have to make do with the condensed milk when I get home. Don't be reminded that today's SPA to you is brought to you by Shining Finger Top Moe. It is a VR adult entertainment since 2069. By your premium, yeah. What's the deal with that VR experience? Well, a fan made me an NMD model of me. When chat on. I just have like this big, like, thing in my throat and don't take that out of context. When Shining Finger asked me to do about a, par about a model for our partnership, I just contacted him. He's got money for polishing the model up a lot more, I got my partnership, and we all won! I even got him a year of free premium membership in a VR set. That's nice. Wait, what's NMD? Probably this world's NMD. Don't tell me you haven't heard of Niku Dinku fans. Yep. Yep. Yep, it is. <laughs> I asked for a reason. It's, well, it's music videos with 3D models. Yeah, that sounds like a good enough explanation. I see. To be honest, though, her, the model is meatier than me. Not that I mind, though, considering the use it gets. Ahem. You know, I was expecting you to be more scared when I said that you were being watched by a lot of people. It's hard to be scared when you can't see these people. But they're still there, you know. <laughs> Just all the faces. Sure, they're behind the screens and sometimes in the opposite corner of the world. But every single one of my viewers is a real person with a life. Not being here doesn't make them any less real. I love all the freaking lines that come across the screen. This world does run on moods. I mean, kind of. We kind of are right now. Think of all the Twitch stuff. They're not the same. They're not here visibly paying attention to me. I don't get paranoid because of my phone contacts. It's true, I guess. So tell me, what made the lady like you become a bartender? It's not exactly an exciting story. Is this fifth wall breaking? <laughs> it kind of is. <laughs> it kind of is. Does it involve a man? No. What about a crime? No, that's guilt. A child of promise? Nah. A religious vow? A what? You're not gonna tell me that you decide I'll be to quit your job and start bartending. That's actually what happens, sorta. Come on, no epiphany, quarter life crisis, not even a hot teacher somewhere along the line. <laughs> Life isn't always a young adult novel where every decision is a road cone. And that's a problem. One third of my viewers are teens that shouldn't be allowed to watch my streams. Tell me a bone here. There must be a nice mystical story you can tell about yourself, Miss Bartender. 
Well, yes. Sometime after I started working, I got an interesting client. He was a dark soul, a really old little model. His power supply was running low. His charger was destroyed, and he didn't have the money to buy upgrades or replacements. He also seems to have neglected his maintenance. It was from the time when the collective source was in the cloud storage system, <coughs> so he wouldn't be uploaded there once his body ran out of energy. Keep going. It was weird, you know. He was the only low on my fear seen with a clear cut fear of mortality. No transcendence for him, he would disappear once his batteries ran out. It's like knowing you'll vanish while everyone else passes on to heaven, he said. Man. I guess he felt bad about bartending uh, burning someone else with his problems. So he went and gave me a fingertip of this and fell while we were talking. Before we left, he said, if you remember me, you part of me will transcend. Um, bravo, bravo! Touching, full of feeling, completely awesome! I'd pay to see a movie like that. So what happened to that finger? I made a pendant out of it. I carried it with me at all times. Even while bathing? Almost all times. Now think about it. How do you handle the stream if you want to watch a movie or something? I have a plug-in that lays Mosaic Sanders took over whatever I watched on TV or theater. I see. Okay, this is getting stale. I'm gonna heat this up, even if I have to do it myself. I need to drop a cow in here. Miss Bottom Printer, get me drunk. I don't care how. Just do it. Okay. Get drunk no matter what. Let's do the Blue Fairy, just for funsies. Let's just load it up. Because I want to see what happens. No, I can't do it anymore. So, lightheadedness, clumsy tongue, palm sweaty, knees weak, arm spaghetti. Of course you did. Can't feel my legs. Can't feel my legs. All right, let's get it. No, don't, don't. I just want to I must pour you have a 90% success rate with this. Oh no. I'd say B. Not big enough to fill a high end, but not small enough to make you look like a job. You're saying B, right? I'm not discussing my best. Don't be like that. I can tell you're B. Oh. Your attitude makes me think you earn. <laughs> you're an ass and your behavior makes me think your blood type is AB. Oh my gosh. So how many did I get right? Who knows? Oh, please let me get on with this. I need you to cooperate if this is going to be a success. Can I ask something? Finally. What's the point of getting drunk if you're going to behave the same way? I guess it's the kind of redundant. Because you see, I'm drunk 24 7. Eh? Then people want to watch me do everything and everything. Seeing the viewer counts their eyes to take more risk and become more adventurous. And that neither sex nor alcohol can come to This fucking okay. You only need to pay $9.99 to see what happens afterwards. Oh dear. Go premium or go home. Oh no. You really can get lucky if the other person knows that I'm being streamed. You'd be surprised by not all home on your astronaut by that. How do you deal with people who don't want their identities revealed? Everything's written here. By being captured by this camera, you hereby provide content to the of your face. On all material pro uh, produced, by, uh, produced by Streaming China LLC. <laughs> I'm not sure how legal that is. For <laughs> <coughs> uh, people believe it is, and it gets controlled by a lawyer. It's funny though, when you're on the street, unless it's somebody really hot, you can't recall their faces. Put in the name and phone, you're a fucking snowflake with breath and all the rest. Oh, this is weird, I'm feeling sleepy. You did ask me to get you drunk, why is it weird? Because I haven't felt sleepy in quite some time, in fact, I've been sleep deprived for a while now. How long? A week, go to bed. We show the ones with 30 days, right? How's she not dead? Because only after 10 days, the human mind shuts down. Yep, totally sleep back and feel my eyes getting heavier. And there's this weird lag when I try to move. What's up with that? Anyway, I think I'll take a little nap here before starting off and continuing the night. If you'll excuse me. <laughs> Should I call a cab and risk waking her up? Leave her be, I'd rather break the rules and let her sleep than with her again. I'll take my break now. It's been a while since I need a cigarette this badly. Alright. Well, that was fun. <laughs> yeah. Everyone, take care of yourselves. Don't stay up for a month. Trust me, don't stay up for a month. 
It is now safe to keep playing. Ah, the lovely sensation of feeling like you're forgetting something. Um... Let's put something random in there, like that. Um... Put in one of those. All oh, done. Feeling better? Fresh air does wonders for you, as fresh as it gets. What for given value of fresh, anyway? I insist that it sounds like dynamite. No, it was too long to be dynamite. It sounded more like some heavy duty tool. You're a heavy duty tool. Yes, I am. Wait, that. Yeah. Oh, welcome back. Hello! New people. Betty and I could swear this place looked a lot more pink the last time we came. It's the lighting. Hey, bartender, what did that noise just now sound like to you? I say it sounds like construction, but Betty here says it's dynamite or something like that. But you too. Now, do you think it's dynamite then? Oh, no, I say it's backfire. It's a gunshot. Firecrackers! <laughs> See, the sounds have been going on all night and we can't figure out what they are. Oh, we aren't here to discuss that. We're here to. Um, who is he? Gillian, nice to meet you. I don't know. You have more of a John face. Where was he last weekend? I don't know, and I don't care. You could already made amends for leaving me to fend off all those dogs. Anyway, what do you want? Here. Oh, what the hell? I have a beer, too. Your beer's coming right up. Beer. They're getting beer. And then mix. They're not ice. Alright, here you go. Thank you. Man, after work beer is always the best beer. Yeah, call me bartender. Just, you know. No, nice name. I'll speak to slightly. As usual. Oh, oh, I keep on clicking multiple times. We're not the kind to be filled to the brim during rush hours, and we don't have that many regulars. So it's just the same. Nothing's changed. Guess that's when we came here with all that dogs. It was quite the change of pace, huh? You have no idea. Um, I have a question, Joe. Is it about the girl sleeping next to you? Um, I don't know. Please don't wake her up. Do you regularly let people sleep here? No, but I'd rather have her sleeping than talking. Should you be saying that with at least 6k people listening? Let them hear. I don't care. 6k people. She calls herself Streaming Chan. She's been streaming her life 24-7. That sounds familiar. I think one of the dogs talked about seeing someone doing that. I don't know if it's the same person. So 6,000 people are watching and hearing us. It's creepy. Considering the way she's sleeping, there's probably only hearing us. Her camera is above the table. I don't know how many people are still on the channel, though. Let's see. So there will be a lot more witnesses if something said. Do you have a criminal past? Nope. Just a minor charge of petty vandalism. What did you do? Paint graffiti outside of my high school sayings. <laughs> Why'd you do that? Because Mrs. Thompson was! She constantly humiliated whoever got her questions wrong. Also constantly bullied two of my classmates. True, I got a week of suspension and had to clean up the wall. But it gave everyone the courage to speak up. So how stuff up with Doglandia? Well, we recently struck a deal with for Armor Fabrics to start a doggy clothing line. That sounds adorable and I want to see all the clothes. Armor Fabrics, that name rings a bell. It's that textile company where the owner believes herself to be a alpaca. Oh, we served her too. Oh yeah, that one. We had her here some time ago. She got drunk and so much saliva everywhere. Oh. Anyway, dog clothes? We hired a new employee and she showed up the ups and things. Higher ups and designs. After a couple of times, they decided to give her clothing production a try. Reminds me of my idea for kitten mittens. Kitten mittens? Hmm. But something tells me that's why they were approved. You guys want anything else? I'll have ordered this guy or just say I'll have a brand team. Two brand teenies. They always order in pairs for this point. Most of the drinks seem to have at least ten ingredients. Oh crap.
you go. You have such a wimpy taste in drink steel. Not all of us spent their weekends in college partying like maniacs. Actually, not all of us went to college. I missed nothing. Sometimes I wish I could go back in time and kick myself. Hmm. Something on your mind? The girl with this design new clothes. Laura? What about her? She's cute, but she would take more care in her appearance. I mean, right now she fits the unkempt cutie category, so while that's almost painful, it's so cliche that I can't help but cringe when looking at her. Cringe? It's like when you see something that's such a cheesy movie cliche. Just deal with the, deal with the need to kick whatever the hell it is. Betty, I don't think we, I'd have to say this to you twice in the same month, but you shouldn't kick people. I wasn't gonna kick her. Why do you think I'd kick her? Because I've seen you kick people before. Apparently unprovoked or due to um, complicated reasons you do understand. I'm guilty as charged. I like Betty. I feel like I can get along well with her. So I'm gonna do something about her. I feel like I just need to. Matter of honor. Honor, she says. Well, maybe honor isn't the right word. But she has potential. I'm not going to let her waste it. Yeah, I'm going to need to check the intent on the roof. Alright. I have the bar ghost right now. Ah, oh, whatever. Boss, right? Didn't you meet her before? Nope, I'm just a veterinarian. The dogs were the ones that would organize a meeting with her. I'd say she's really good looking, but honestly, those pants rob her of her charm. But the pants are good! Oh, back from store buying an Xbox Series. Oh, neat! Hello, Raz, by the way. What do you mean? They make her look too uptight, and at least she doesn't seem like the type. Some shorts or skirt would fit her better. <clears throat> well, she wears a skirt or her pants. Her mood. There was also this one time where she came wearing a kilt. That kilt was awesome! Damn, she's nice here. Now I think about it. Not that hobby of speculating that someone's appearance is lovely based on just their looks. I mean, you're the same chill here. Amazing, you actually made that sound weird as hell. Yeah, I have a habit of trying to guess what someone's behavior is based on their looks. It's kind of easy. There's a store that actually carries it. It was just a dollar or so such a deal, especially given GPs are so expensive nowadays. Yeah, why? Yeah. I I did? What are you thinking about me? Nothing much, really. Must have that you were too polite. Not a natural polite, though. More like a professional polite. You're like that because you need to be. That was it, really. Although the way you looked at me when they said your boss could have used a skirt or shorts was interesting. You seemed interested in that. Like you'd like to see that scenario. You're thinking too much. <laughs> you must be removed of. You are thinking too much. What do you think about Gil then? Hmm. Hmm. Is there a total symptom or acts like one in a way that consumes the rest of his character? Yeah, GPs are expensive because of everything. Uh, 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 yeah, uh. But anyway, I'm just a veterinarian. My judgment might be caught out of your by seeing so many furry businessmen. Um. I don't remember that part. Let's have another round. I like a good idea I'll have. You have something strong, you need to pump some testosterone into your taste and drinks. But thank you later, trust me. And two strong drinks. Mainly drinks. I don't care which ones. Well, you shut up. Fine. Let's do this one. The crevice spike. And let's just put two in. All blended. I'll knock the drunkenness out of you or knock you cold. I like it. Here. Now drink. Oh man up, you'll get used to it. Wait, underappreciated drink? Is this the one that no one orders? Yeah, no one asks for the crevice spike apparently. Okay. Hey Jill, has someone ever proposed to you as a prank? You know, it makes you think you are falling in love with you just a little bit. Nope. <laughs> GG! <laughs> Welcome everyone! Happy Tuesday! <laughs> Hello! The sheep has raided us. 
Everyone go follow GG if you haven't. Um, I think that's the right link. Just gonna double check. They were doing Sea of Thieves earlier. Yes, it is right. Hey, my son. Tales out Tuesday. I mean, it's Tuesday. That's why we're doing this game. You guys miss streaming channel. Oh my gosh. So, this is basically just a bartending game. And it's set in 2069, which, nice, by the way. And one of the patrons you get was streaming John, and she was basically the embodiment of a Twitch streamer for the sellout variety. It's protective cup, cup size will not help you as <laughs> It's set in 27x. It's set 26. Well, yeah, it's kind of set there, but I'm just gonna say 269 because it's that kind of game. But yes. Anyway, we mix drinks. We save lives. Still. Not uh, Twitch merch using only pants. Oh my gosh, God, it is. I can bartend. Woo! Yes. The guy I had my eyes on for a whole year had asked me out. Saturday morning, I could go to the meeting place. What do I find? It was all pranked by some bitches. Ouch. Sorry, I... The worst part is that I set me up, but rather I saw it coming. I know that guy wouldn't find me attractive enough to ask me out. Oh yeah, I don't mean to be excited. I have another excitement for plans and all you do. I could just mention one person's name and you'd get excited. I know those bitches were targeting sooner or later just for the kicks. I knew it all, so it would all happen and it felt nothing. They confirmed my suspicions that teenagers are a plague that must be eradicated. Argust. That's the person, Raz. Bargus. Enjoy. Anyway, why the question? Hey, piece of scrap. Yeah? These are the situations where you should have stopped me before I said anything. It's better to learn by tripping yourself. Why the question, though? Uh, um... I was asking because one of my ex's cousins has been hitting on me the past couple of days. If it were somebody else, I'd pretend to be straight with the help of this piece of scrap right here. Sally, she knows who I am. Worst part is, knowing Vero, she probably put her cousin up to it as a practical joke. Well, I'd suggest telling the cousin that she could cut it out. If she feels generally offended, they might not have been in cahoots. But I've been spouting nonsense is based on how like sorry, what you've told me. You don't pay too much attention. It's better than my suggestion. What was yours? Waterboarding. I see what? The fact that she knows how to waterboard somebody is what scares me most. The Girl Scouts also taught me how to skin deer, and I see nobody making a fuss about that. I feel like we would get along swimmingly. But yeah, your advice sounds good enough. Especially when you factor that it... Sorry, that was just a weird segue with the song. Factor that if Gina's being honest about her, she probably won't feel offended. <clears throat> Gina, which one was that again? Blonde, flat as a cutting board, but cute as a button. Oh yeah, she came to the office Christmas party, right? That's the one. Well, it's getting late. We should be going. Yeah. Thanks again for anything, everything, Joe. Bye. Please come again. Back. Those damn cats moving the internet cable. Oh yeah, Jill, some guy said I should tell you the bunny's late, whatever that means. Shit. Boss, I'm leaving early. If I don't come back in two days, consider me as good as dead. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Shouldn't we be worried? Think of him as a kid that calls at registries to get attention and everything will be easier. Besides, he knows how to take care of himself. Yeah. He'll be here on Monday like nothing ever happened. In any case, I'll be back in my office. Maybe now I can finish watching that didgeridoo tutorial. Hello, Jill. Ah, Stella, you here for another thing today? Not really, I was just around the neighborhood and... Right. Anyway, I found this bottle being neglected at my house. And thought someone who likes old liquor as much as you would appreciate it. Really? I don't know what to say. Thanks. Wants well, nothing really. It's just in. Mm -hmm. The Apollo Trust Bank that has locked its doors, leaving about 30 people trapped inside. The security system has activated after somebody tried to steal information from the main database. Early this morning, the bank. Oh, God, say! Waterboarding rights where you stimulate the drowning with a cloth, right? I need to read up on how. Should be easy as much as it was doing those in bush years. So, should I tell you how to waterboard someone? Eh, let's not. 
I wonder if she'll be alright. Oh, uh, hello, Jamie. Good morning, good evening, Joe. Did you see that happened about the Apollo Trust Bank? The news flash just ended. It sounds like things got ugly. Oh, crap, I just... Crap. I just unplugged my... headphones by accident. Um... Crap! I just unplugged my headphones by accident! And that made the music go away, so we're just going to do... Um... What's a good song from Valhalla? Let's just pull that up and just do... this. There. There's one of the songs from Valhalla. Is it too loud? Well, I did plug them back in, but whenever I do that, games like Minecraft and this kind of lose their audio. Seems like for the best. Well, let's hope for the best. Yeah. The old storm off just a minute ago, though. I see. I guess the bunny was late. He definitely knows what's going on. What can I get you? Give me a Mars Blast. Can you have a he wants a Mars Blast. I'm sad that we don't have the very nice sounds, but we'll end the stream in a bit. Ah, uh, yes, welcome, Raiders. Sorry about some technical difficulties. Tuesday is a bit messed up. One Mars Blast. Yeah, this is the one. Mars Blasts have always been poorly named to me. Shouldn't it be red instead of yellowish? That'd be a Venus Blast, wouldn't it be? Like, yeah, the whole red planet thing is still its nickname. We are. I can't believe I'm on Mars. Who's this girl? She calls herself Streaming John. She's been streaming her life 24 7. That's your equipment's still running, so you might want to watch what you say. Thanks for the advice. Changing the subject a bit, have you been hearing explosions or something throughout the day? I heard there that a supersonic drone was undergoing tests now. Of course, that might be it. Ah. Hey boss, the explosions were caused by supersonic drones. That sounds better than firecrackers. We've been trying to figure out what they were all day. Ah, uh, I see. Sonic booms are not only sounds people can normally identify. This one drone made a lot of noise when breaking the sound barrier. Is this an area to test that kind of stuff? It's not, which makes the whole thing kind of suspicious. Huh. And if only Gil was here to hear that info, he thought they were gunshots. Are you worried about him? Sort of. He always leaves that notice for days, but he always come back on stage. Oh, it's, it is a tiny bit loud. Okay, thank you. Me. Should be good now. That better? I'd be lying if I said it's not wor I'm not worried, but at the same time, I just kind of became used to it. He can be a troublesome man, huh? Sometimes. Say, do you think the people in the bank will be all right? This isn't the first time a bank has closed like that, but something is off about this. Off? Oh. I don't know. Maybe it's the hour? Maybe it's the fact that the news is making an unusual big stink of it? Let's hope I'm just overthinking it. Yeah. Are you worried about something? A girl that was in here yesterday said she was going to the bank. It's not like me to be personally invested in what happens to clients, but... Never mind. Do you want something else? Yeah, I came here for one more drink. Catch me a beer. Let's keep it simple. Sure. Alright, let's give him a beer then. Should we make it bigger? You know what? Yeah, let's make him a big beer. Okay. One big beer. Here. I once read that beer played an important part in humanity's history. You were right. Yeah, I'm familiar with the theory, but it's an interesting one. The gist of it is that brewing war was an important part of society during its development. It was, because people made wheat. Well, beer, with the wheat. Drinks were ubiquitous while feasting. They helped to foster bonds and build faction alliances. If you have enough time and enough beer, larger societies would be born. You seem to know a lot about this. Eh, just enough. Maybe you have a dangerous job and there's no such thing as overthinking? Yeah, there really isn't. Brain uploading? I was thinking that the point of uploading yourself if you're still here. 
Let's say you upload yourself and effectively that you knew someone's in cyberspace. You'll still be here. Wouldn't it be hard to know that there's a you that's not you somewhere? It's an interesting point. I guess it'd be the same as cloning, huh? Imagine if you, your cyberspace self found out the real you somehow. Oh, imagine talking to your other self. There's more. Imagine placing multiple copies of you in different situations. Expose each other to different scenarios to see how they develop. I guess it is kind of heartbreaking in a way. Imagine someone with some illness uploading their brains into the ether. Only to find out that their physical bodies are still alive in here instead of living in a place where there's no disease. I remember an article from a while back about the earliest forms of brain uploading. It would scan the brain in such a thorough and intense manner that it would effectively kill the person. Ooh, no. Use the words burn the brain. No, thank you. All for nothing because the data would be corrupted or broken. They halted all brain uploading research after that. I think they served after another project about living with brains in jars or something like that. We really need to watch the dialogue because every time a character says one thing, we can use it later. That subject interests you, huh? It makes for a nice time to sink when I'm doing nothing. Well then, nice talking to you, Jill. Stay here, always a pleasure. Say a little Jillian for me when he comes back. Oh, Gillian. Please come again. Ew, hold on. You wanna stay here? Seems the street's quite restless. Thanks, but I'll pass. I have a couple matters to attend to at home. I do. I ordered a nano camo module from my apartment. It should be installed by now. Nano camo? Is that a tad expensive? Yeah, to be honest, I asked for my mom for it. She'd been pestering me about what gift I wanted for Mega Christmas for a while, though. She's been asking that for four years now, and I've always said I was fine. So I took the chance and asked her to use... and asked her for it. Use all of ass gifts. Oh! It feels a bit weird to ask your parents for a gift like that when you're 27. I'm sure she doesn't mind. So what will the nano camo module change for your apartment? I got the basic plan. Walls and one piece of cloth, so I picked one from my Kotatsu, too. You have a Kotatsu? You know what a Kotatsu is, boss. I'm more impressed you know what it is. I mean, futons are common knowledge, but a, kot a Kotatsu? It's a much. Yeah, well, days of cold and heater might not be enough. In the Japanese, I've mastered how to live comfortably in reduced places, all spaces. You should invite me sometime. I don't want to see how you decorate a place with that. Let's plan a day to grab a beer, yeah. No more dancing, I'm tired. What do we do with her? I'll take care of her, don't worry. Alright, sorry for leaving her like this. No problem. Only gotta go. See you tomorrow, boss. Careful out there. Get a nice wall pattern or something. I love the gifts from boss. Okay, so I'm going to open and close the thing after I save. A uh, fan, even though it's winter. So I'm going to... Oh, I can't save. Okay, there we go. There we go. Save. Okay, day five. So I'm going to open and close it, so give me a sec. How brain peeling and what didn't work in the setting, apparently. Yeah, it didn't. Okay, we should be good. There we go. All better. Load. Day five in the room. No new notifications or reminder. Jeff wants to buy a fan, even though it's winter for some reason. Where is the fan? Despite the noisy name, it's just a fan. That's a nano camo. Something to light of an liven up things in this room. So? That's what this app is for. And I love it. Camo Tan is our mascot. She's designed by veteran game designer from Sukabound Games, Kieran Kirin51. Birthday. The first uh the twenty-fourth of January. Us with waist and height and hips, sorry. Like Musashi, Battleship, Tactical Fashion, Peach Cake. Oh, Peach Cake. I can't read! Come on. 
Maybe she wants to buy a different kind of fan. <laughs> oh no! Okay, so customize. I love the cats right there. Um, let's buy the blue walls. That looks nice. Much nicer. There we go. Oh, right, about. Nano Camo is a company founded in 2068. Boo. Pioneer the nano machine fabric capable of real time texture swap. Meant for military use, we bring our products to the general public at the most affordable prices. Musashi, who's for? Oh, the cat. The cat speaks. It has one of those collars. Um, we do have some of those. Pollution to reach historic levels next year. And I've been sitting too long. Hold on a moment. I need to stand up a bit. Oh, okay. Oh, I've been sitting too long. Butt aches. Okay, I think that's all to do it. Let's see where the heck I am on my thing. Okay, should be all good. Let me recalibrate. Ugh. But yes, nano camo. It seems really cool. Okay. All good, all good, all good. Let me turn back on, not in that way. Okay. So, and yeah, the paint job is cheaper, which is really interesting and would save money. Plus, you don't have to worry about people renting out and wanting a different paint job later, which is really good nice. Really good nice. The augmented eye, pollution to reach historic levels next year by Kimberly Lovelet. I don't know. Even though most countries in the world have adapted to their economics to solve the ongoing problem of climate change, which city still relies on ancient technologies in order to keep costs low with profits high? Yeah, kind of figured. I'm gonna lean again. Okay. As a result of this po backwards policy, it seems as though we'll be reaching, we'll be experiencing a huge increase in air pollution next year. Our contamination levels will force the whole population to move away from a lot of areas within the city. The soil is dying at an alarming rate, it said experts in the report. Having to buy a special raincoats and umbrellas does suck, but experts say you better get used to it. Long until someone says pollution is good. There's a book. Good night. Uh, nice. Yeah, I know nice. I know what nice is. The augmented eye. The augmented eye is being attacked. Hi, everyone. We take your security seriously here at the augmented eye. And we have the obligation to disclose the recent articles on, of Alice Rapid were vandalized by who we think is Alice Rapid themselves. Or a very good impersonator. We want to extend our apologies and inform you that we'll be limiting our coverage of Alice Rapid to just factual news and not entertainment pieces. Sincerely, the anonymous uh, eye staff. God, I don't pay those fuckers for a sub. Alarms rise at the Apollo Trust. Bank suffers a terrorist attack. Updating. I'm saying it's okay. Ijax screens at downtown Casanova announced that it seems to be a terrorist threat aimed at the Apollo Trust Bank. The information suggests that a currently unidentified bomber is already inside the building. The White Knights counterterrorism responded to the threat immediately. However, the bank was then locked down by an external network attack. We might be dealing with a dual threat here, CTU's Chloe Barrett told him. I, the bank has been sealed shut using its own disaster prevention system. However, none of the terminals at the bank were working at the time. The building is basically sealed to the point. The hostages are trapped. Fun. You know, there's one thing at the shop that we can buy that's fairly cheap. Movie poster. Buying the movie poster. Night of the ID Snatches, the beloved police mockumentary. And we have it right there. See, I like buying some of the cheap stuff that way you don't have to buy a dumb one. Okay.
we'll do one more round and then we'll go to and do a raid or something later. Good evening. Huh? I didn't expect you today. I was waiting for you to call and say you wouldn't be coming or something. Things at the Apollo Bank are getting ugly, so that means more people will be looking for a drink. Yep. <sighs> you can't take a break. You can take a break, you know. You're quite the hard worker. And the streets are not exactly safe right now. They've never been when you get down to it. And besides, I can't afford to not come with the bar closing soon. I wonder if any bar has used and enclosures just mean to get their employees at work. It seems like the total opposite would happen. Not to mention I get bored out of my, mind out of my apartment, so I'd rather be here anyway. So, what did you say? Hold on. Nothing important. Gil isn't back yet. Nope, I wouldn't worry too much about him, though. If you say so. That girl's still here? Yep, she was sleeping so peacefully I felt bad about waking her up. So, would you mind doing that after uh, for me? Actually, yes, I do mind. But you're the boss. It's kind of my fault she's here in the first place. Sorry about that. Hey, young lady, keep sleeping another hour and we'll have to start charging you a motel fee. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where am I? Oh, right. Uh, the shoddy downtown bar. Let's see, all my gear is in place, and neither my pants nor my uh, panties, shirt, or bra have been displaced. Oh, it's the flat bartender. Good morning. Good evening. Evening? Oh, well, it's the best night or day of sleep I've had in some quite some time. Sorry for all the trouble I may have caused your partner. You today or last night. Don't worry. You're so nice, flat bartender. Thanks for taking care of me. Bye! Hello, guys and gals. Streamtown's back in action with their batteries reloaded. Ah, the moon! It burns! I feel like I just unleashed something terrible into the world. It's like unleashing a giant pack of very, very coked up ferrets. Come on, it's not that bad. Say, what's this deal? What's this bottle? A client gave it to me yesterday. They get a certain guessing. Oh, cool. Sort of rum. Rum. Nice. There's the rum. Want me to serve you a bit of it? Um, yeah, sure. Let's give the boss some run. Go to the bottle drinks tab and get it to the shaker before mixing. Grandpa booze. Here. All right. I'm gonna enjoy this in my office. Thanks. Anytime. Okay then. Um. Let's go with. Um, I'm a moto, that sounds nice. Racing music, okay. And then... Every day is night, and then we do the usual. Okay. I'm gonna serve, mix, and change lives! <laughs> Wait, that's not how it goes. Ugh, no one here to retort. And it feels lonely without Gil here. I just hope that restlessness in the streets doesn't lead to dangerous or rude types coming here. Good evening. Hello, weird type! I just freaked out. Hello, weird type. Holy shit, that was record-breaking jinx. W welcome to Valhalla, what can I get you? I'll have a blue fairy. Don't make a joke about becoming real. Don't make a joke about becoming real on it. Let's give this, um, brain a blue fairy. Let's do a little bit of power stream, which is the alcohol. Here you go. Nice, yeah, this is the thing. So, um, how are you gonna... Oh, you can grab stuff. Should have figured this much. You can drink stuff? And eat. I have the same system Willem do. Can I ask you something, um, or... Yes? Call me Taylor. Just Taylor. Ah, yes, the general neutral old name. And yes, a kitty like you can ask me anything. Okay, Taylor. You have to be the first person I've met that didn't go, okay, just Taylor. Nah, too easy. You are a brain in a jar, right? I'm sure not a hologram of that, I'm sure. Yep, I'm a bona fide human brain in a jar. So, how... Why? What, does my handsomeness make you speechless? You're not something girl sees every day, and that's saying quite a bit around these parts. You're not, for I have a speech prepared for these situations. 
a speech. You're seeing one of the five great living bottled brains of the world. We are brains living in conditions that allow us to exist as any other human creature. All wild computers in our jars and our activities in a slow but steady manner, we are helping the world understand the inner workings of a nature is most complex computer. I'm guessing you've heard that after being asked the same question too many times, huh? Dwayne. Not out of exasperation or anything like that, my you. I just wanted to have something thoughtful prepared. Ha! Ah, thoughtful. Look, I even have a couple pamphlets with me. You want one? Sure. What brings one of our world's five brains in jars to this place like this? <laughs> oh, I'm from around here, actually. I just wanted to take a walk for the first time in quite a bit of time. You've come here before? Sadly, no. Otherwise, I'd, rec I'd remember a cute place like yours. Speaking of which, can I have your name? Um, it's Jill. Jill, that's a really cute name. Thank you. Say, weren't you scared of going outside today with the commotion around it all? It didn't stop me from coming here, either, did it? Yeah, you're right. It's gonna take more than a cryptic but ominous news to stop me. You're awfully energetic, did you know that? Sorry, does that bother you? <laughs> no, not at all. Just that I figured a brain in the jar would be so... happy. <laughs> the timing. While I was alive, my body got to a point where others... But there wasn't much I could do. This new state of existence allows me to accomplish more than I ever could before. Plus, I'm doing something that'll help in the long run. Wouldn't you be happy? I wonder. Kind of is a thing, or if it's like if the body wears out due to cancer, but there's nothing in the brain. Would that be good to put just the brain in the jar to at least let them stay alive? You want to make me happy, Jill? Depends on what it takes. Don't worry, just give me a beer. All right, then, yeah, I'll make you happy. One beer to make Taylor happy. Let's just go for normal size. Here, a beer. Oh yes, no matter what happens, beer is always good. It's interesting though, just yesterday I was talking to a client about brain uploads. You were? Yeah, we were talking about how even if you uploaded your brain, you'd still be here. I thought about that too. You think you... Do you think that you in the cybernetic environment would feel like she was indeed transferred? Like, would she remember everything? Like waking up someplace and so on? It's an interesting question. I was actually thinking earlier about being able to transfer someone's brain into a Lola. Lola brains is being used in such an experiment. Actually, they can make a functional Lola. Unfortunately, the wiring and other such stuff makes it look more creepy than anything. They weren't transferring his identity or anything, though. Just a wiring into a body. Oh. You think someone would rather do that than float around it, exposed in a jar? I admit the whole brain thing does look creepy. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. It's okay, Yori. Hello. But the body I'm telling you about is just uncanny looking. Being of uncanny, how did you feel the first time you, first time you saw it for yourself? It was quite a shock, really. It didn't take last. It didn't last long, though. I never was too attached to my body. Later in my life, that was almost literal. You know what the downside to this body is? I can't get drunk. You call that downside. Yeah, just experience the flavor of the drinks. If you want to drink out alcohol for the taste, there are many alternatives. alternatives. Drunkenness is part of the whole experience. Why though? Well, you can get drunk, no problem. Yeah, but in their case, their brain's computer attached to their body. Getting drunk causes their brains to reduce the input speed to their bodies. And on the model, their drunk's upper team might throw a different behavioral cycle even. It's hard to get drunk when the whole point of you being in a jar is figuring out exactly how you work. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Hey, Jill. Oh, Alma. Just, oh, Alma? Where's the courtesy you one would expect from plebeian bar stuff? Welcome to Valhalla. What can I get you? Happy? Not when you put it that way. Why, hello there, beautiful. M Whoa! You hurt my feelings with that, darling. S sorry, you don't see talking disembodied brains every day. I mean, I did work in a summer or loan... Maintenance, but even then, those were talking heads. Oh, don't worry about that. At least you're not running or thinking. Your name was Alma, right? I'm Taylor. Nice to meet you, Taylor. Say, Alma, can I buy you a drink? Sorry, I only date people who are at least 50% organic and have at least one face. Hmm. I know just what to try for then. Just kidding. 
didn't be make me happy to make you happy by buying you a drink. Does that bother you? Awesome, I'll pay for your next drink then. What will you have? I'll have a cobalt velvet. And you, Taylor? I'm fine, actually. You're going to have me drink alone? I don't want to drink that much. Okay, then. Let's make a cobalt velvet straight from Taylor to Elma. Oh, one, two, one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four, five. All on the rocks and mixed. So Brain and Jar shows up to Valhalla. That's a big one. Your drink. Hope you enjoy it. You know, you've been nice to me for those past minutes that at least three guys have been in the last year. Especially from the way you two talk, I'm guessing you've been a client here for a while now, right? Only for about half a year or so, if memory serves right. Really, one would think it's been longer. Feels like it's been longer. Shut up, you love me and you know it. So you just started coming here, and that was it. Well, the first time I came here, the other guy, speaking of which, where's Palpo? Gillian. Gillian. Archimedes. You know, adventuring or something. <laughs> anyway, the other guy served me the first time I came here. Nothing unusual there. Next time I showed up, Jill was the one serving, and I don't know, I feel like she just gets me. Her name is Unisex, too. Yeah, exactly. Which is why I like it a lot. There's this chemistry we click. We click, she says. The fact that I feel more chemistry with her than and with many other people is kind of sad, though. It's almost good to see a nice friendship. Sally, it's getting late, and I've gotta go. I'll leave you two lovely ladies alone. See you. Bye. Kiss them again. I tell her she was nice. Excuse me. Ooh. Hopefully no one heard that. A bit weird at first, though. Apparently one of the five brains being studied by scientists or something. There's a summary of it in this pamphlet. Let's see. Oh yeah, I've heard of them before. I can't believe I actually met. Hey, Alma, how many people are there in your family? Just curious. Well, so I from my mom and dad, we're five sisters, sorry, four sisters and one brother. Funnily enough, we all have names that start with the first five letters in the alphabet. So you're the eldest one? Well, I'm actually the middle kid. You're the middle kid, but your name starts with an A. Don't think too much. I never said the order reflected our ages. Let's just describe that of the eldest one, and then there's the aunt uh, just before me. Then comes Ava, and the bottom lies about... Um, sorry, the youngest one is Bernardo. You'd never go alone, I'm guessing. Complain about that, I guess. It helps we were never five in the same house. By the time Aveda and Bernie were born, Vanna and Carletta had already moved. Even my family, today I came because I need a break from everything that's been going on with them. Do you live with them? No, but Aveda and Bernie do. Not to mention I visit almost every day. Yes, the brain in the jar was very nice. A very nice brain. Anyway, my second eldest sister, Diana, just separated from my husband. It's not even been a week, but she's already got some other guy in the bed. She left her kid with her husband's parents and pretty much forgot about them. Yikes. Never mind the fact that they need to go to school and all that. Damn. Diana's life has always been messy, but these days she's really making it big. She wants time for herself and lives a life for herself. She didn't think about that when she married the guy at 20. She didn't think about that when marrying a guy she'd only known for three months. Hmm. You should take your own advice. Eh, hey, I'd never marry someone who could catch my attention so quickly at you, right, okay? Okay. There was this one time when it almost happened, but I blame that damn stadium kiss cam. Kiss cam? I was going to go out with my little sister. With a guy my little sister introduced me, I knew it was very questionable. Seems he was your friend's brother or something. We went out a couple times and invited me to a baseball game. The mood was nice, but then later the kiss cam focused on us instead of kissing him and me, he proposed. I almost got caught in the mood and accepted. Huh. So I take out you rejected him in a stadium on the fucking kiss cam. We now are out for like three weeks! I don't know, maybe he wanted to get in my pants with the old sex on the wedding mat line. But I honestly God, can't understand why he thought it would be a good idea. That sounds too convoluted, you know, proposing waiting for the party night just for sex. Uh, there's people. Never underestimate the lengths of man is willing to go to get you in their bed. Eee, that's a line for a lot of people. That was a dirty move on his part, yep. I've seen more convoluted plots on the year over the years. I'm feeling tempted to ask, but I'll pass. Want anything else? Hmm, what's that bottle? Yeah, it's just some rum a client gave me yesterday. Gift? What did you do? A good enough service, I'm guessing. Okay. Huh, interesting name. What does it mean? 
Chica is the name of a chieftain and some native tribes. I see. Do you want me to serve you some of this? I'll pass. I don't have too many good memories of where rums involved. Give me a fringe weaver instead, will you? All right. Let's help with her and rum. But anyways, let's give her a fringe weaver. Let's give her the rum! <laughs> I'm kidding. We're gonna give her the fringe weaver. We can, but I want to be nice. All aged and mixed. One fringe weaver. What kind of memories do you have with the rum? Nothing you need to worry about. Well, where's the rum gone? Okay, what you now? Oh, now is my turn. All right, now is my turn to ask questions. About what? What kind of family is your family? Well, I'm an only child. My mom and split it amicably. My mom is a violinist, so she is always away from home with the orchestra. Most of the time with my dad, my aunt, my grandpa. Aside from that, I'd say my childhood was quite uneventful. Did you get something like your mom's artistic vein or something? I played the violin until I was around 16, I think. What made you stop? I don't know, I just kind of said, that's it, one day and stopped. That's a read line What about cousins or the rest of your family? I see very little of them, actually. Mainly because my dad moved away from most of them. Most of my mom's family lives in France to boot. So France is still around. But your mom's Jack drank it all, but then I don't blame him for being on the run for turning out on the slave shipping job. Yeah. Yep. Can you speak French? Remy le bouche. Mon air glacier est plein de What does that mean? Rubbish? I don't know, I can't speak French. I did try enough, but college started and I stopped taking classes. What do you think? I actually have a cousin from my mom's side that lives close by. But you'll be hard pressed to make a spot. Hard pressed to make me spawn in a crowd. You're kind of lucky, you know. All my mom's side of the family lives here. The chances of me meeting someone I related to on the street are ridiculously high. But yeah, nothing that hurts the primer on my family. Nothing too interesting, sadly. Your mom's a French violinist, and you call that uninteresting? I'm wondering if your family has ever made a fuss about you being a hacker. Hacker makes it sound too exotic. It's like if I called you a mixologist. Old black cats are miraculous ladybugs. I hear that show sucks, but everyone can't stop watching it. Please don't ever sound like something somebody would say to make a bartender sound sophisticated. See? I mean, hacker is a good way to summarize it, but it's not the best. I'm a security consultant. People want to find flaws in security of the systems, and I do my best to pinpoint where it breaks. Be it Glitch City or anywhere else in the world. They need security? I'm their woman. I have quite a few stories about cracking to databases to retrieve info, like some sort of mercenary, though. That doesn't change the fact that hacker is not the best term to use. It makes the whole world- makes the whole thing sound illegal and it's actually an honest job. But she's a white hat. Exactly, she's a white hat. Didn't you tell me you once secured some incriminating pics from a guy's cell phone? A mostly honest job, she- she's more neutral, more gray. What made you become a hacker, by the way? I've always been a sucker for puzzles. Even as a kid, I always had a Sudoku or crossword with me. But at some point, that started feeling kind of samey. So she's really just doing it because it's a challenge. That's nice. So when I started college, I took a course on system security. I felt like the kind of puzzle I was looking for. I mean, there are all kinds of things involved in breaching that security. You need to attack the stuff from different angles. You had a good in a shell nut, yeah. <laughs> And something that's always evolving, the point of everything is to strengthen security. Every time you think you've got the gist of it, they change everything. It's kind of like an always evolving puzzle. Also, I help make harder at that. Huh. I think about it that way. It is less action you that when movies make it up to be, though. No real-time frantic typing, nothing like that. Still, seeing my code break about something, break through something, it's an amazing feeling. Will you have anything else? Hmm, I'll have a classy drink. Any classy drink. There's nothing. He wants a classy drink. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Here you are. Yep, that's what I needed. Thanks. She needed the bad touch. <laughs> ah, thank you. What's the worst that could happen if you, get, if you don't get your drinks right? 
Well, people have the right to not give you money. If you don't pay for it, I don't get my bonus. No bonus means less money and no tips, which doesn't help because I have to pay the bills. Oh, I see. You had to make an effort to pay your bills. Nope. You have no idea how much I hate you right now. Well, my job kind of pr My job pays pretty well, and I'm not the kind to spend too much on things that are than food and bills. Maybe maintenance on my hands and new equipment, but aside from that... Oh, I know! If you have trouble with your bills, why not live with me? We'll be roommates! You know. Save my stuff... Move my stuff through the stairs because the elevator's broken. Even having to move my liquor collection. Remind the fact that my cat's shut in that I got very upset the one time I moved some furniture around. The idea of moving just gives me a headache. You shouldn't take things so seriously when I say them, you know. I don't own to but I've thought about it before. No, I need some air. I'm gonna take my break. You wanna come? Are you inviting me to stand at the back of the bar? You should invite me to dinner first. Every minute you waste making jokes is time taking away from my break. Fine, let's go. Awesome, take my break. Call me if anyone comes in. Sure, sure. I love the characterization so much. It's so lovely. Cold, 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 cold. Um. Let's do some weird stuff. There we go. There's chilly out there. It's kind of refreshing. The hobo out there seems like a nice guy. Billy Vine? Yeah, he's a cool guy. Very respectable. I hear he's popular in the 20s. Apparently he's gotten some legal trouble this way he's like that. Billy? He could also just be a very nice crackhead, though. <laughs> I have a cousin that lives like a hobo, actually. This sort of game would be hardest for me to make. Yeah, Drac, there's a reason why I'm having you help with music while I'm doing dialogue. <laughs> Yeah. It's a Yang and everyone else who knows me. What would say my alignment is? Not good. You're not on the good spectrum, but you're not evil. Um, I would say true neutral because you kind of stick to your own guns, but you don't really mess with anyone for the most part. But you still kind of have your own lines, so like a very small line between lawful and true neutral. More true neutral leaning, but less lawful neutral leaning. I don't see you as a tree in Yeah. It's a bit complicated, though. Problem is, his family has tried to get him to live with them, but his pride won't let him accept their help. He'd rather live on the streets for some reason. You can't tell with some people, sadly. I like Linus from Stardew. Why did he become a hobo in the first place? Bad investments and debts. Then convicted him from his house. Oh. Wait, I think I know what part this is. I think I know what part this is! Yes! Please let it be this part. Please let it be this part. It's a serious problem because he has epileptic attacks, but refuses to take his medication. I just don't get what's up with him. It's this part! It's this part! Honey, some service here. I'm here, don't scream. <laughs> I'm gonna just... I'm just gonna have that saved, just in case. <laughs> oh ho, were you two hanging at the back of the bar? What kind of stuff were you doing? Just talking. Is that what they call it these days? The code word is food. The code word is food. I think it's messing up again, hold on. That should help. What do you want? Something soft, something sweet. No alcohol, please. It would be the same if you just grabbed a soda from the vending machine. Okay, my mouth is not moving. Why the heck does my- What is with today? My mouth is not moving properly. At all. Steam test. Okay. Should be fixed. Testing. Okay. Yep, that helps. Okay, good, good, good. good. The amount of time I have technical difficulties with this is weird. Anyway, I like you. You just love my presence so much. Sweet and non-alcoholic, you say you're all right. 
sweet and alcoholic. Sweet with no alcohol. Um... I didn't expect confirmation that fast. Hmm? Yeah! Sweet, girly, and solid. All made aged and mixed. One blue fairy. See, you don't get this kind of service for this treatment from vending machines. That just makes me think the vending machines are sentient. <laughs> oh, wait, they are in Drax's game. He has this weird idea that good service is the same as selling lukewarm cans of cola. Lawrence, a friend of mine, he's a vending machine. See, the vending machines are sentient! Uh oh. Oh, but how impolite of me. Hmm? I'm lovely, and my name's Dorothy. Dorothy Hayes. Nice to meet you. Oh, I'm Mama. The pleasure's mine. Dorothy, you say? Yup, why? Nothing, I guess I've heard about you before. Really, what kind of stuff? Tell me, tell me. Mostly about your own... luckiness. And here I was thinking of you because I'm a sex worker. So much for trying to be subtle. Hey, I take pride in my job. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing it. Isn't it dangerous? I know how to take care of myself, thank you very much. She has pistols in her freaking- well, they're not pistols, I guess they're more than that. Where are you, Obama? I'm a hacker. Really? A full-fledged hacker. <laughs> <laughs> not the kind that sees a computer log into some account and says that's hacking, right? No, of course not. I've always been curious about how doing, being a hacker works. Do you just start typing really fast while waiting for something to think to happen? No. I can explain it, but I don't know if you'll get it. We won't know until you try, right? Last time I said that I had to jam the plastic replica of a halogen light and pulled up a grown man's ass. It was a success! Ahem. Okay then, let me try to explain it in general how it works. Let's say I have to retrieve information from the company's database. Alright! First I have to do some research on the target. Oh, Wes- Hold on, wait. <clears throat> Hold on a moment. I gotta get real close. First I do some research on the target. OS servers, the information stored at any time of that. And all that, sorry. There's been a couple of occasions where I had to go in blind, but they're the exception rather than the rule. First, I secure things from my side. I started working behind in proxies, websites, and through more other more vulnerable computers I find on the way. Uh huh. After that, I start testing the networks. I go through the basic protocols, try known exploits as long as they don't trigger any alarm. Once I test the ground, the fun starts. I go through all the security protocols and look to bypass them. Sometimes I have to look deeper into the code for the password itself. I, I see. Then when I'm finally in, I go and retrieve user privileges. After that, I go and try to make a super user and get what I need. How do you do that? Well, there are a couple of ways. I can use a pre-made program to hack into an already existing account. I can use info someone already gave me. But the usual way is using a buffer as overflow. B -b -b what happens next? What happens next? <laughs> I create a backdoor in the system before leaving and covering my tracks. I can't. I can't handle it anymore. <laughs> Alma, hack me. Hack me like you've never hacked before. Huh? Make me, let me buffer overflow. Create a backdoor in me. <laughs> Escalate your user privileges. Find flaws in my security. <laughs> Sorry, I got carried away. No shit, what happened? <laughs> Have you seen those movies or books where a couple does something like paint a picture or cook? But they make it sound like they're having sex instead. <laughs> so just the scenes, yeah. Well, the whole thing was kind of like that for me. Or, really. Us humans don't usually get it because their minds don't upload to networks or anything. But trust me, if you recorded yourself giving a detailed explanation of really sexy boys, wink wink. <laughs> ah! You'd make millions, horny little more on an unexploited market. I see. Oh look, look, my ride is here. Your ride? And then Dorothy just follows her out! <laughs> yep, my brother-in-law came to look for me. <laughs> is it alright to ask that for him? <laughs> it's okay, I've known him since preschool. And just so happened that he got married to my sister. 
Hey, Dorothy, you need a ride? Can you drop me by Third Street? Sure, it's on the way. Hey, I'll take your offer then. Bye, honey. Later, Joe. Take care. That street seems kind of noisy. Oh, client. Hello, oh, welcome to Valhalla. What can I get? It's this guy! Such a small yet comfortable place. Truly, an oasis of spiritual drinks in the midst of the suburban desert. A place where lost and corrupt souls can gather to forget their troubles for a while. A nest where even the most pathetic scum and their vilest trash junkie can just sit to kill their insides. Truly, a real persona non grata. That's Latin for mysterious place. By the way, I'm so smart and philosophical. Alright, we got ourselves a persona non grata here. What will you have then? 17. Hey, excuse me. I said 17. 7 plus teen. Is this Jim Sterling's latest character? <laughs> he looks like a big shot. Oh my gosh. What does that mean? What does it mean to you? Just to be sure, 17 is about the drink you want, right? Only if you want it to be. So, 17. What the hell does he mean? Well, we can do a couple of things. We can do... Like, in order, we can just go to 17. And just do that. But, that adds up to 18. So, honestly, I just want to give him something horribly boozy. Um, that's not 17. Um, uh, no, it's 10. Uh, two, let's go another. Okay, I thought that was expensive for a moment. Um... Do we punch him in the gut? <laughs> Let's not punch him in the gut. Let's be nice. I have a dumb idea. We add 17 karma trains to the mix. That's 17, all right, isn't it? <laughs> oh, let's add a whole bunch of alcohol. That's 17. I think that's good. How is this a 17? It isn't. You said 17 would only be related to your drink if I thought it was. I think it isn't. Oh, you subverted, subverted my expectations to take me literally. Sneaky. And what brings you here, mister? I'm Armandio. Virgilio Arundio. See, I introduced myself using the Asian order because that's a lot more polite now. No. Just say your name in the language that you're saying it in the normal way. Right. And I came here looking for an otherworldly experience. I was passing by and saw this place it's called Valhalla. I want to see the souls of resting warriors, the wounded spirits of noble souls. The golden hall full of never-ending banquets. The lively Valkyries start looking over them. We have some arcade machines in the corner. No, 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 you're taking me too literally. You see, I'm being poetic. I'm giving a mystical air to the mundane affair. I want to see a drunk people. I want to see waitresses and food. I want to see the bar in all of its decadent glory. I'm really upset that more bars don't seem to serve food. Well, you're out of luck. Not that I'm very surprised given how things have been going in the streets. Humans are a nasty bunch, that is true. Making a ruckus, coming at each other, but that's to be expected from the only man with a kill its own. I'm no zoologist, but I'm pretty sure that's not the case. Lions. Dolphins. Oh yeah? Then give me an example of not zoologist bartender. Like I said, I don't know exactly the details, I just know that it isn't right. And a resurgence of lion takes over pride, every cub born from under lions killed or something. I don't know if that's the thing, but maybe. <laughs> takes over a pride. You can't take over a pride. Pride isn't a tangible thing. You need to stop making things up not so well as bartender. But going back on topic, do you know what the number 17 means? Hipster stuff. The atomic number of chlorine? I like that little answer. Knowing Chloe is a name, not a number you know. The group where halogens are on the periodic table? Stop making up words like halogens, periodic, and table. He doesn't believe in the word table? Okay, then I give up. 
17 is us. Eh? Every human has 17 pairs of chromosomes. Is that right? It's 23. Yeah, I was gonna say. What is? It is a 23 pairs of chromosomes, not 17. Well, they're both primal numbers, so it's not uh, the same idea. Come on. I mean, prime. Do you want anything else? I like a single plum floating in perfume serving a man's hat. Okay. He wants a plum floating perfume in his hat. Son of a bitch. You know, we can do that. There you go. Here. Ha! <laughs> you didn't. Wait, you did. Enjoy! I will, I'll drink this, um. You. You don't really have to. Yeah, that would be silly. You win this round, bartender. Hey, bartender, have you ever thought about death? How? What if we're already dead? Both of us. The simulation paradox, or theory, I believe it is. What tells you I even existed before I entered this door? How can you assure me that this reality is real and we're not, in fact, in heaven or hell all along? What if everything up to this point is just some stupid story written by an unemployed 20-something in his room? Eat the fourth wall in place, please. I could punch you to make you feel reality. I don't care about any of that, actually. This reality is real for me and that's all that matters. A closed-minded way of seeing things. He is purgatory! <laughs> just walking, talking purgatory. Not in is you need to get away from the factual facts. Open your mind to things about, about your reach. I believe he sells essential oils on the side. You'll never reach enlightenment if you don't start. The habanero has started. It means the twilight of the gods in German, by the way. Well, you're on your own, bartender. Enjoy your new world order. Um, what? A couple of near go by cars exploded, it seems. Ow. Let me take a look out the window. Be careful. See a lot of flashes in the distance. You simply gunshots. Still, come here a sec. What? About five gigabytes of reports. Oh, five. Wait, is that gigabytes or five GB? <coughs> of reports proving that several white knight squads have been used to cover. Illegal acts were released to the public by an unknown anarchist group. We received reports of several units going rogue and using their weapons to hunt down anyone they find in the street. Several counterterrorism forces from neighboring cities have been dispatched in order to do. Craziness after a place for, for a plea from the uh, vice president. We're still waiting for a declaration of the Zabatsu Corp CEO on the subject, but until then, they're ugly and by uh, what it seems. I'd rather you stay here tonight. It's too dangerous to even think about going up. What if they break in? They anyway, won't. Even then, the bar is quite the security system. You're looking at the security system. <laughs> I'll be here protecting you. As an added modus. Yeah, I guess I'll stay here tonight. I'll get you the spare mattress I have. Do you mind sleeping in my office? No, I guess it's fine. Good. Uh, let's hope everything gets solved by the morning. I'll have Zonko do it on, just in case. The metal bath with nails. There's nothing it can't bash. <laughs> Ray, Hill, Thor. I'll have everything better by tomorrow. Sleep tight, I'll protect you. Oh, we didn't get a flawless service bonus! Balls! But yes, with that, I will have to say that will be the end. We're all saved up, and I'm going to do a little ad break so we can find someone to raid. Boop. For those that are still staying, if there is anyone, if that's right, because I'm losing subs because of doing stuff. Hello. Ooh. Seems like a new to raid. You do and just wait for the screen. <coughs> okay. Welcome back, everyone. There is someone I've been meaning to raid for a while, and they, her name is Fua Puff. They are doing. Ironically, Hatsune Miku. Color stage. And we'll get to enjoy that. Thank you all for coming. It was very nice. And now that we have partially gone through Valhalla, I feel very good. For now, let us go.